<laughs> How many times has Arctania actually been reported? That is the real question. So thank you guys for tuning on in. Let's get started here. This is going to be Sanctuary to start things off. And here for the blue team, going to be the youth squad, of course. Our earlier, our early boys always, our early boys and girls. We are Arctania on the Zara, Chiyaki on the Riot Heart, Funchik on the Mercy, Tamora on the Pharah, Rainy on the Genshi, and Adamantium on the Ana. On the other hand, here for ROG number one, J22 gonna be on that. Winston Swarly on the Diva, Kairu on the Ana, Reishi on the Moira, Craft is already dead on in the Moodle Maker, and Redux finally rounding things off with the Doomfist. So the punch coming out from Redux doesn't really get much. Tomorrow, on the other hand, they'll be playing the Farah just up on top so far. Probably trying to get some drums if you try to fix up the room in this setup. And the top was on all day. Where they? Pero. Okay. We'll see. If you guys actually want to play Busan all day, we can do that. The Craft is now getting the snipe there. On to Timora, the blue team getting the capture. And as we're saying about this map, this map is actually very suited for the sniper roles. It reminds me a little bit of Hanamura Point A. It reminds me a little bit of Elio's uh, ruins as well. In terms, in terms of its sidelines, so practice right now looking for a shot or two. Patrick though gaining sniped up, doesn't really get the headshot. Really close to the dragon blade, can whip it out and just beat Bongo drums off victory for the youth squad. Charge comes on and Chiaki gets each. It can on to J22 and here comes Rainy with the dragon blade. Reishi is the first to fall to the strike. strike. So youth squad now in control of the fight. J22 get Actuary. J22 ready with the prime rage. Gonna hop on out. Calamitha's gonna be subbing in for Arctania thanks to DC. And the due to the DC, red team of ROG number one gain the capture off and J22 just shocking Chiyaki to absolute and unfortunate death. Primary Rage is available and the Diva Bomb gonna be up and about as well. On the other hand, Frack is looking for a shot onto Timora. Tomorrow, using the Geometry well, gonna fly on to the other side. Just trying to stay alive here against that Widowmaker. And Timora playing reminiscent of Hanamura. Just skating out the rooftops. Trying to get away. Good rotation there from Practice. And here comes Redux as well to try and grab that Farah and clip their wings. Tomorrow now jumping on in. Finally gets the kill onto the Widowmaker. The mismatch. Going the way of the Reinhardt, Shatter, uh, the, the, the Fire rather, Shatter came out from the U squad as well. Chiaki trying to set something up. Redux, we just strike into the air, slamming on it onto Adamantum. Looks like he's not going to be as cool as that. True. Now a few more kills going the way of the U squad, and that's going to be the capture going the way of the blue team. I need to. I really need to, like, share that. <laughs> Infrasight now is available and practice will use it to allow the red team to give to get the knowledge of where the blue team is gonna be set on up Infrasight allowing uh you know vision pass through fast walls practice now gonna rotate onto the left hand side and I'll see the tunnel there not be used too much as I've noticed we have the nano boost right now onto Timora Rocket Project is available Graviton Surge comes out as well can Rainy get the kill no it's the red team bringing it back practice gets to uncontested Co coalesces there with a take down onto Rainy as well self destruct now coming out from Swarly and that's gonna be lead to no kills but so far so good in the attack of the red squad the more are gonna fade on into the other side and the rotation there from the Widowmaker, pretty perfect so far. <gasps> An ultimate ready here for J22. The Primal Rage is gonna be held in his arsenal. On the other hand, Chiaki once again has the Shatter. It might be up to the wins to try and block it up, but at the same time, Chiaki getting a fat Shatter a while ago allowed them to get the point. The real question is, can Chiaki do it again? And the boost is available here for Adamantium. Can you use this in that previous fight? Primal Rage is popped. Chiaki goes for the slam. Gets a kill on to Redux with the pin. Fast gonna come out. No! Sleep dart there from Kairu to put Chiaki to the floor. The Doomfist now of Rainy trying to engage on him. Kairu gets swept away in the tide of the blue team. And the red team actually gonna come, gonna give up the point with almost no contest. Chiaki once again getting a perfect pin, this time onto the body of the Winston. Deadeye is available here for Redux, but now he's really really low, has to back off. Practice switching to the Tracer, but it's a little dangerous here for the Red Squad. There's no one going for the contest, can J22 make it onto the point? He gets punched by Rainwee, and that's gonna be a, <laughs> a unfortunate battle from the Doomfish. Gonna be the Wrecking Ball, not making it onto the point. Zero. 
captions. I already added captions, dude. What uh, should the caption be? So moving on to Mecha Base, and one of the coolest things about Mecha Base is the fact that besides the point, this thing, this thing at the point, it does that. And what happens is the covers onto the point actually go down, which is really interesting. But in terms of lore, what else is interesting about Mecha Base is you can see the whole Mecha army, the Mecha team rather of Diva. You can see all five of them here. Well, Diva, Diva's Mecha is gone because you know she's she's out in active duty. But J22 gonna take control of the point for the time being. Here comes Yaki and the charge there from J22 able to get the takedown at the matchup trading it over. Gets a fire grenade onto the Reinhardt Rainy trying to hop on out, but the Genji stays alive thanks to the efforts of Diana Swarley all the way to the other side, being cornered by Calamitous and Chiyaki. The tap line here from the blue squad proving way superior. And that's gonna be the blue team now taking the first capture. Tomorrow gonna be on this May as well. And interesting to note that May can be a little more effective. Oh, J22 gets the charge and he gets a pin as well onto Chiyaki. The environmental is going the way of the red team so far. Can they actually keep this up for the time being? Gonna make you feel that was absolutely ridiculous there from J22. Speed Boost comes on in. Can Kyro get a takedown with the Lucio? They're gonna engage. Practice now, ready with the Pulse Bomb. Just trying to get away from the May of Tomorrow. The one clips are hitting. The crits are ca handling on in. Gonna be a merry, merry Christmas now for the May. Staying on the live. Rainy gets Dragon Blade out. Takes down Redux first and foremost. But Kyro is there once again with the takedown. And this Lucio has been pretty potent so far. Gonna be the red team taking it back, gaining capture onto the point. And <laughs> tomorrow getting spotted near the health pack. Luckily had the ice block at the last moment, able to stay alive. Tomorrow, on the other hand, being he left with Puncher, gonna have the Valkyrie in just a bit to allow the blue team to go for the push. J22, they're gonna go for the clash, and it's gonna be a fire grenade to his name. Very unfortunate, he will fall to have died here for the side of the red team. Puncher going for the res in practice, more or less powerless to actually deal with that. Calamitous now getting the grab on surge onto the top part, three ducks onto the point, get away from the dragon strike, and where is it even going? All the way to the ice wall for some reason. Sandbire now comes on out to save the Hanzo as well as the Lucio, keeping the contest in the favor of the red squad. One for one trade so far, and Chiyaki once again with another seven kills, but a perfect shatter there from J22 gets three, gets the pin as well onto Adam Magic, but good bubble from Calamitous before he dies, keep Diana alive. The test still going on to this point, another set of kills going the way of the red team, but Rainy swoops in, gets to Chiyaki back into the fight, has the shatter, Swarly trying to get away, puts up the bubble, and there's the shatter onto both the Mercy and the Zarya. Now we have a Reaper here from Redux, he's gonna try to make form onto the other side. Reishi popping the Valkyrie but way too late and oh no the boop the boop there from J22 once again swooping on in gets to these charges charge fiesta the char this has been an absolute charge fiesta kind of game I don't, I don't even know I, I kind of I kind of want to make that the highlight already just make a compilation of Busan mech based charges but we'll see there's nothing that was more effective. Kyra now being frozen up but gets healed up. This is going to be very dangerous for the red team because the blizzard is going to be potent in these close quarters. Rainy falls to the hand of Swarly but Simona is keeping everyone in the Ice Age. The U squad going to move on in. J22 with another charge this time gets counteracted. And Calamitous has switched to the Widowmaker. Going to try to do as much damage as he can. Sub Eclipse Silence, feel free to join if you want. As Swarly now with another takedown on himself for some reason. Calamitous versus Kairu. This Lucio keeping the Widowmaker on his toes, but doesn't really get killed, doesn't get the pick. Having Phantom too big. Dude, this is a mecha base in the middle of the Pacific Ocean or something. Korean Sea, I don't know if it's Korean Sea. Practice though, starting things off with a pickup on to Rain the red team bringing it back with a set of kills. J22, once again, the unfortunate soul getting a fire grenade. Redux gets power slammed as well with the shatter. And that's gonna be a solo shatter there for the poor Re uh, Reaper. J22 back into the fight. Ice Wall in his face. The charge doesn't get much. Who will actually get the better charge here? Will it be Chiaki? Will it be J22? As the two Reinhardt's just dashing on in, not really gonna work out. And J22 finally gets a air shatter in his name. But once again, at the Mantle. Solid, solid by grenades. That's gonna be the blue team taking the win as the red squad, though, gets off the point.
play of the game. Play of the game there, Chiaki. Oh, I I'm surprised it's not one of the environmental ones, but Chiaki playing a pretty good Reinhardt in this fight. More or less uncontested, just swinging around. Solid, solid play there from, uh, from okay. progress. But maybe we'll see some progress here from the red team. Blue team more or less handily beating them in that one. We'll see if they can actually take the win in this map. But Kalamka's gonna be on the Somber. Gonna be trying to be as pesky as he can. Swarly, one clip is dead. The Widowmaker not really looking behind him. Gonna have practice though on the Hanzo. Trying to go for a quick low snipe. In the meantime, this is gonna be Serezra. Gonna play the Wrecking Ball. Interesting. Nope. Well, there we go. Uh, we have a Wrecking Ball in play just this early in the game. Kalamka's now ready. Uh, power slam. I really kill rather on to practice. Pile driver there from Cyrezra, and he's gonna uh, just move charge. on to the back line instead. Oh, dude, thank you guys for the thank you for the resub train, guys. Ooh, ooh, thank you to you, Monster Potato. As Tamora playing the Reaper gets to you. What's he said? Like I, I'm telling you guys, feel free to join if you want. You guys are more than welcome, of course. And if you haven't added the account already, it's Daxcast one six five six for scrims now. Because Humble Bundle is life, making super cheap Overwatch, and I was willing to drop the 600 just for a scrim account. So ROG number one, gonna start to go for the push. They have the Mer Power of Mercy, but Calamitous- Oh, Calamitous getting sniped up by practice. That is a perfect pick, allowing the Pharmacy now to move on in Walanda and Mishnah. Practice makes perfect. Gonna go for Jumara next. This Hanzo popping off, getting to. Gonna try to get the snipe onto Kanakura as well, but Quantrick is the first to fall. Alexi gonna go onto the other hand, gets a Storm Arrow to the face, and just watching this Hanzo come work out in their favor. Kaido gonna jump to the back line. The first is gonna be taken by the red team, and this is gonna be ROG jumping on, on in once again. Kalamas though, gonna go for the classic spawn camp onto the health path but gets taken down by Kairu. Graviton surge from Chiyaki honestly a little questionable they need to use it a lot of ultimates being used here by blue team and they're just being wasted by the fact that practice whipping out the dragon strike wanna do a cast uh sure wait long I'll fix it up in just a bit why the fuck did I do that here you should add the account first I'll fix it up for the next next game if you're available I need to I'm still fixing up a few things <laughs> But yeah, I'll hop on Discord. I'll hop on Discord in after this game, and you can hop on too. EMP now comes on. Uh, practice though, able to get a takedown. Oh, here comes Tomorrow. Death Blossom on to two. Gonna move for the push and Reishi. Gonna try to fly away. Valkyrie is available as well as the uh, Rocket Barrage and the Mines. The Mercy staying alive. Thanks again to Practice and a pretty questionable coalescence lesson there from Kanakura. Not really the perfect time to do so. They're already winning the fight. So guys, don't waste your ultimates when you're already winning. Swarly though, Rocket Barrage on to one, on to two. Funchik holding the dam, but it bursts all the water, all the rockets there just getting past the barrier and now here comes the push in from the red squad gonna have this interesting dive comp from Cairo and Cyrezda the Winston and the Wrecking Ball animals on the loose here on the streets of London Calamity is just being really sneaky gonna go for the hack on to Swarly just trying to ground the Farah as much as he can squad now into the back line but practice just look at practice he's being very very paranoid to say that he's adamantium though gonna might get one clip there uh, reishi at the nick of time popping the back the ceiling up beyond now careful the surge comes on not only gets the hanzo but can be a vital pick if the hanzo gets picked up in the first place no it's not gonna lead to any kills so Reza making it rain with some mines up on top calamitous with another takedown this time this is gonna be on the hanzo the squad gonna push on in with Timora playing the farah Alexei is gonna be there to support and Reishi getting hacked on up in the bookstore. Oh, that's gonna be a simultaneous kill. And the Sombra tossing out the translocator on the corpse of the Mercy. So the blue squad still wants to try and defend this, but Calamity is now being chased around and gets taken down by the Winston and the Wrecking Ball. Both heroes pretty good at Sombra checking. Gonna be a roll on and Pile Driver comes out and the Winston at almost simultaneously gonna jump on by 
Cascades, a cascade of tank action, punching back into the air, gets taken down. Kairu getting the nana boost, gonna push on in as the primal rage as well. Shiaki though, really high energy, trying to will it down. Swarly gets taken down instead by practice. Even if he comes out from Calamitous, but it's a little too late to actually lead to anything. Tomorrow, out of desperation, trying to get the Rahat Raj, and Tomorrow gets to before he takes herself down. Unfortunate there. Kairu jumping on in like a real hero. Eating up those rockets to the face of Tamora. Alex is now really low, getting shocked up, getting taken down by the Tessa Cannon. And Funchak, the only one contesting so far for the blue squad. Now Winston getting the Primal Rage at the nick of time and going for a few jumps but gets dragged into his face. Crouching Tiger hitting Winston and yeah, the Yeet Squad still with the contest for the time being. Swarly close to the Rocket Raj might be able to turn this around with a hail of rockets. Funchuk though with a takedown onto Adamantium. Here comes the blue team but funneling in with the amount of players that they have. Kind of could really no tomorrow almost get a got an air shot but Swarly sadly was reloading. Gonna be a reset here for the Red Squad. But now the, R the red team honestly struggling to actually go up, come up as a cohesive unit. They still use the uh, mines at the end there from Cyreza. More or less gets away to Swarly as well in a bad spot, gets taken down. I don't know why he dropped down there, but that was very, very unfortunate for the fire. Probably running out of some gas. Tamora out in front, gets a bio grenade, getting shocked up, gets taken down by the hit scan wrecking ball. You guys don't know. The wrecking ball. Uh, pretty hit scan right there. The team though gonna go for the push in once again. Will it actually lead to any kills? So Reza just running on by a practice hash which to Sombra. A pretty smart pick nowadays. The Sombra very very potent. Rahat Raj comes on out. Swarly gets taken down so so easily by Calamitous. He has the blade but he's gonna get hacked on up to allow the red team to get the res on Swarly. Timmy is 66 but for how long will the support stay alive? Not long enough. Graviton surge from Chiyaki. Calamitous going for the swing and gets the hit there on the practice. So Reza Though. Mines are going to be placed. The red squad still in control of uh, this one. I mean, the blue team rather in control of this one. No contest from the red team. And that's going to be a good defense here on the second point of King's Row. Score 0 to 1. Switching sides. What can I do? Yo. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, you should, you should get some. Yeah, what are you doing? Get, get, get the food. What you got there using ducks? Dude, they're, uh, it's, 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 it's right there down below. Ducks one six five six. We have a, we have a new account, dude. We have a new account. Uh, what the hell am I doing? Rookie mistake. There you go. Wrong, wrong layouts. Let's try on down below and actually hop on Discord already. Just try to make this work. Make this work. Make this work. This work. So once again, the stack here, Chiaki, Panchik, and Timora. So, so pretty, pretty solid so far. But just three of them this time. So, there you go. See? This is what. Good job. There you go. Add me up. Perfect. So I can add you too. This is a very, very clean account. It's uh, it's already one fourth filled though in terms of friends, which is interesting. Hi, Digi. Hi, Digi here. That's not good, Digi. Okay. Okay. Hello, Digi. Anyway, where were we? I'm just so distracted right now. I still have to post the open division games as well. So yeah, no, a bunch of things to actually do. Broadcast DND. Yeah, so drop uh, Monster Potato. Hop on in on Overrush. It's the channel where it's OD Broadcast DND. I'll, I'll just use that. I'll just use that for this time. Tomorrow, though, gonna swoop on in. Going playing the Fara once again. Kyra with a takedown. The Makui getting some shots on out. Resto onto Tamora. Calamus gets a flashback to the face. The red team in control of this defense, even though their Hanzo gets picked off. Reishi getting the res up as well. Pretty solid so far here from the Mercy. Reishi has been playing a pretty solid Mercy, more or less, with her timings. But sadly, Chiaki gonna be able to blow her up because he has a hundred energy and a dream. A dream to just destroy the defensive team with his beam. The blue team now with another set of kills. It's gonna be three, four falling in defense. And the first tick and the first point will be captured within the minute. 
Not you. Come here. Where are you? Get over here. Hello. Hello. You. Good. Now you go fast. So, uh, what do you call this? So, joining me right now is Monster Potato or Drop Shot, whichever guy is how you go know him. And hello, <laughs> welcome. I haven't seen you in a while. Kyro Doga, the Poppy, Dead Eye, leads no, no kills. So, the streets now of King's Row will be our new background. So, how are you doing, Monster Potato? Been good, I've been good. I've been testing out different uh, things every now and then, but then, you know, couldn't find the perfect spot if you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Um, haven't streamed for quite a bit, but been playing Overwatch. That's been it. having fun with it. That's, <laughs> yeah. it no, that's the point of Overwatch anyway. In the meantime, at advantage, trying to keep everyone top on up. Grab it on search. Comes on out. Coalescence is there as well. Dragon Blade even from Calamitas. More or less unnecessary. A little too much ultimates there for the mute squad, but honestly, gonna be as potent as they can be. So, what have you been playing? Uh, what hero have you been playing? I've seen you play Ana. Have you been practicing your Ana again? Ana. Yeah. Again, uh, I've been stuck with Ana, but then uh, Moira has been my go-to this past few, uh, this current season. Probably because, you know, uh, hit scans have been very good and the shift, the uh, Moira shift has been very useful for getting out and repositioning myself every now and then. And with Winston jumping in and out of fights as well, like, Moira shift has been... Speaking of the Moira though, when you use the fade too early, you could see it. To fall the same fate as Kanakura. Kanakura, they're using the fate too early, gets taken down by the opposing squad with a dive on in. Kyra ready with the dead eye. Kalanis is there. Tomorrow swoops on in once again. Ready to hit the rocket branch. There'll be a selfish shot though into the middle. And here's the rocket branch there from tomorrow. Gets to Reishi and Adamantium. Both get taken down. Grab the surge now to put Swarly in check. And the cage animal just hissing away this time. So it looks like Pratt is just no lone survivor, no fun check with the dive on in. Can the youth squad finish this at this time? Looks like there's no gonna be no contest and that's gonna be the game here on King's Row. So uh, guys, drop shot here will be joining me uh, in co-casting in the next one. So yeah, gonna like I said, like I say to everyone, if you guys do want a co class in community scripts, just just show up and ask. It's pretty simple anyway. And yeah, here we go. The play of the game, so check out this play here from tomorrow. Holding left click, holding W. What what a god. What a god. Tracking, and here we go. Oh, oh, press left shift. What a god. But anyway, that's 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 the one that team he got me on. Mercy. Mercy. There you go. So basically guys, the defense here toward the blue team is called the uh, fuck you, I want to keep your bri my bridge defense. So yeah. It consists of fun trick we're with the Orisa. Gonna yeah, try to get some halts as the red team is gonna push, but on the other hand, very smart of them, gonna have the dive instead, just try not wanting to risk out the bridge defense. And they also have the Para here for Redux dodges now with the takedown onto Calamitous with the jump, and already the trash stuff starts on between these two. But the blue team taking control of the roads with the Reaper of Jamora, they're getting taken down by dodge this. So, so far, so good here for the red squad. Uh, the blue team are up there with their team cup as a total bridge uh, defense, but then they couldn't they couldn't get down as, as soon as they found out it was a full dive coming from the red. It's a very good decision for them to actually move on to the next corner, which move on to the next corner, drop a bunker, stand there and pray to God that pray to God that they actually fall for diving in to their bunker. <laughs> and interesting to note, dude. Interesting to note that Fonchek has been contesting this payload for like forever. Trapper just yeah, ignoring, <laughs> ignoring the Orisa, just sniping at other people instead. Tomorrow though, with a takedown. So this game is not about the payload apparently. This game is about rivalries. Tomorrow versus Trapper for some reason. Of course, Dodge and Calamitous. Uh, Redux there, just flying out. And this guy gets taken down after the hook from Chiaki. Perfect setup. And for now, Bopo si Dodge is defending quite well. <laughs> I think this is not about this is not about objectives anymore. This is about trying to make a point, yeah. trying to make a statement. <laughs> God damn, I forgot to mute my <laughs> my songs. But anyway, Bovasi dodge now, keeping the defense at the corner way. This is what your usual defense is. Honestly, just try to keep try to use rather the payload as a choke point. Punch it, gonna pop the supercharger. In the meantime, vigilance has the Valkyrie on up. Gonna swoop on in, just getting those heals. One for one trade so far. But Alexi bringing tomorrow back to life is gonna be very very potent for the side of the defense. Shots and now comes out out from Zen on the Zen. 
and no one's gonna. Everyone's dead, so it's not gonna really work out in their favor. I think the red team, the only thing that the red team can do right now, since it's a total corner hold by the uh, by the blue team, is to wait for their wait for their two ultimates that can break down that shield faster. Probably the diva ult, or maybe also the Pharaoh ulti. If they can execute that and protect both of their both of those uh, use of those ults effectively, they can make that good push. But I don't think it's gonna happen because they're struggling. Uh, they're struggling right now. Ooh, though almost gets the kill on to Chiaki, but takes down tomorrow. So J22 making an opening. Interesting to note, the red squad was gonna try to go for a flank with the second bridge, but it doesn't really work out in the favor because Chiaki was in the way. Tracker now getting some kills thanks to the displacement there from the self drop of the D.Va. As Drop Shot did mention, Kuala Sasaf comes on out. Mongler trying to vaporize the D.Va mech and J22 out of the mech into the fire. Will he stay alive? Here comes Pot! Potchik, what are you doing? Still on the payload. Mongler now trying to stay Stay alive, and the thing about Mongler and our favorite guy Cake as well, they are from New, they are living in New York right now, so they all they have the highest ping of the server. So kudos to them for still playing. But Mongler now getting shocked up and getting taken down by Dodge. This primal rage, barrage, and Intercept are available, and we do see Tracker popping it to be able to trap the opposing team properly. Now, I, I think what they need to do now is get as much space as they can, but I don't think Calamitous is gonna give them any breathing room. Dodge is trying to... Dodge just pops his ultimate trying to push everyone out of the way to give, to give them that one tick, one tick, but Jesus Christ, Calamitous showing them, showing them what... Just giving him, giving them a hit scan school right now. Wow! Rocket Barrage is available and Dodge has actually used the Primal Rage there to keep the push alive and Redux allowed to get to Tomorrow will respond in kind getting your own Rocket Barrage before the Trump said it swoops on in to try and save Vigilance over time is getting to pop and the point of the Primal Rage earlier on was because of the time back allowing the red teams to still keep on keeping on Tracker now with some two shots and gets to take down onto Calamitous as well this is exactly what they need here from their Widowmaker but Funchek once again gonna be a stalwart off the bridge gonna be a little troll just high Hiding underneath, Dodge is just trying to charge up the Primal Rage, almost leaves the point, but he gets a contest at the last moment. The Red Squad still in control of this, gonna push on it. Ponchek once again, uncontested with that barrier, Infrasight is gonna be out, and here comes J22. This is a really good pick with the Wrecking Ball. If he can get the mines, he will make so much space here for the offense. Also gonna swoop on in like a Wrecking Ball itself. J22 right now keeping on, keeping on tomorrow though in the backline, takes down Tracker. We do see an aerial battle in the plaza, but here comes Zen, tossing a few shots. Discord onto the Farah, will he get the kill? Overtime still ticking, but the blue squad finally getting it back. With Zamora taking down, the Vigilance has to go for the Reds, popping the battery, but gets sniped up by Calamitous instead. And this looks really good here for the blue team, able to cascade on in. And exactly what they needed on that defense, just go for the flag and win it out. What can I say? That was good. That was good basic defense. And fun trick just, you know, standing on the point and he doesn't, he doesn't care. Kind of give them a lot. Just made it difficult for the red team to actually push through. Yeah, the, uh, I like the, the Orisa. More or less, everyone's just like, oh, whatever. Just an Orisa. Someone's going to kill him and no one ended up killing him. Which was <laughs> hashtag nice joke. Uh, so that's all I have to say. <laughs> Fun trick, putting the fun in defense. <laughs> what? What did you say? Good, good man. Good. All right, now we just. I wonder what the blue team's gonna be doing. Are they gonna be doing the same team comp? Yes, I think so. I think they are. Oh They're doing the same team comp with a Winston Diva. Oh. Mm -hmm. Timora. Hi. Timora again with a Reaper. Timora. Yeah. Good. Good. Is he, is he a full? Is he a full Reaper man? Oh, tomorrow? Yeah? Tomorrow plays uh the most Fire Reaper and uh, what was the other one? I fucking forgot. But yeah, she likes she likes those things. I don't know. Holding left click. That's what tomorrow, holding left click. That's what tomorrow likes. Just ask ask her. Tomorrow! You know you're in chat. Why do you like Fire and Re Reaper so much? Tell uh, tell uh tell the audience. Let us know. Let us, let, know. Us know. let us know in the comment <laughs> section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and follow me on Snapchat. I Sorry, this isn't a makeup vlog. But anyway, let's check out what the Red Squad is going to be running. We do see a Plaza Defense. It's going to be a Reinhardt. And the thing about Rialto is you, you have so many... You have so many options on defense, you have so many options on attack. That's why this map is favored by so many. 
At the same time though, it is a little unbalanced in the favor of defense by the second point. So it still needs a little tweaking, but it's overall designed very very fun to do to use. Lamas though starting things off with a bang, gets a headshot there on the tracker. We do see Vajan still going for the Rens, so it has to be another 1v1 between these two snipers. Now, the, the, the red team is opting for a total blast of defense over here with a Reinhardt and a... And a, um... Bleh. Got it. <laughs> it's a Reinhardt Zarya. So basically... Reinhardt as, Zarya, Well, yeah. basically, the defense is similar to what the Ares was doing. Just use this narrow pathway as much as they can. Tracker, though, moving on to the back line as the blue squad rotate onto the top platform. That gets a takedown onto Alexei. Also very, very risky here. Oh, Demora with the rain form in the face. Just dodging it out. A small little iframe there. But it's not going to work out in his favor because now she can't actually move on in and be aggressive due to the cooldown. What I can see here is that he's gonna be a calamitous tracker one on one v one. That's what's happening here. If, yeah. if if any if either if in, if any one of the the two snipers pops off like as quick as possible and pops as many ends as he can in in one session, you, you that's that's the thing that's gonna be able to be pushed or defending. Yeah. So Charlotte's Cal there in the chat. When here comes the blue squad pushing on and finally getting the picks that they need to do, just whittling down the defense as Dodge is in the back line goes for the shatter play, but he gets taken down by Timor. You can't do that against a Reaper if you don't get the stun on the Reaper in the first place. Honestly, oh. leaving your team like that, very, very unfortunate for the Red Squad. J22 gonna go for the Desperation Wrecking Ball, but the Red Team still can wait on for the tax. But here comes Timora, swooping on, and Death Blossom comes on out. Some shock in the back line. Vigilance taking a dip into the river. 2.61 contest, and J22 this time just being a weight off the blue team's shoulder. Just rolling around at the speed of stun, but that's not gonna be enough. He's gonna give up the point. And the red team will will concede, and the blue team wins it out. <laughs> wow, dude! Timora and Calamitous playing playing DPS is just like it's, it's a total ballet to watch. It's so good. Tomorrow's on a fara. Like when you never the thing yeah. is people need to contest a fara. This is a lesson about fara. What, Taking on Farah in the first place, you need to be able to shut down the Farah, especially if you know the Farah can get dove on by anyone from the red team eventually. Okay. Mm. Well, the thing is, the red squad doesn't really have much divers except the Genji, and the Ana can go for the sleep dart, all depends. And we have practice, practice can move on it as well as at the matchup to go for the peel. And what the blue team is running, they're running this more mobile composition because look what Calabas has done all the way from the castle. So it's a 125 charge gets rid of. Reishi wants to go for Swarley next. The blue team now in control of this fight. Perfect rollout there from Kalantos coming in from the top. The rider of Rohan just dives on in. And Kalam Lande in control of this defense. So, for now, the blue squad gonna roll on out. Chiaki can be on that Zara. Deals with Calamitous and what the red team needs to do is after the fact they get rid of the Doomfist, they need to push on in and take the advantage on. But it's gonna be a very, very potent combination between Chimora and Calamitous on that Farah and that Doomfist. And so many heals for the blue squad. They have the Mercy, they have the Ana. Charge comes on out from Cyreza, but it's only to get him into position to the point. Red team needs to start pressing W right now before the Doomfist comes. Oh, wait. Calamitous is back. Taking out the Sniper and taking out the Mercy as well. The thing about Calamitous and on the Doomfist is the Doomfist has such a short time of rollout to respawn Rachel. You can get back into the fight almost as quickly as a Lucia and as, as a Tracer can. He now gets a Nano boost and this is going to be the blue team in control of this fight once again. Red team having three ults with them as well. They have the gravity. They have the drag, uh, the dragon strike and graviton coming in. If they can use this, if they can actually grab three people from from to the graviton, they can make a good push out here. They need to. They need to start focusing calamitous. Up. They need to taking out calamitous first. Yeah, well, if they, get, if they catch the Doomfist, that is actually going to be a potent one. But the thing about the Graviton Surge into Dragon Strike is you can't counter it out now with the Mercy and the Ana. But no, Mongler gets taken down. Sarazer switching over to the Rodal. Whenever you need a little more damage, go for that Rodal. Rocket Barge though comes on out, gets counteracted. Calamitous once again in the backline. He gets hooked up and gets taken down. Something Shock though coming on out from the side of Adam Adam. Gets to oh. by the bridge. That's not the Shock though. Kairu now has switched to the Makri, trying to get some shots on out onto the hamster, but the crack practice uh, rolling out gets taken down. That was a huge shelter up there from Adamantium. 
very huge, taking out two healers at the same time, stopping the blue team's push. I mean, the red team's push fully, but wasn't enough because the, the red team's actually on point right now with two ultimates against. They'll have the graviton and the dragon strike that they can use on the second part of second part of the map. The thing is, if you are gonna go for a self destruct like that, it's really good, yes. But the the problem was the blue team has already lost way too much. The tanks of the red squad just able to move on and easily getting the kills. Kalama Kalamath and Marky now working together. Meteor Strike comes on out, gets a squish on the Kairu. Gonna be another seven kills for the Doomfist. Wants to get Reishi, the Mercy just gonna sidestep, gets an uppercut to her name. Oh look at this! Mercy using her slender model gets away. Look, miss. Yes, he missed. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> them rollouts though, my god! Yeah, it's like it's like watching uh, e Revo Major again. Calamus though, coming up on top. Swarly does get to with the dragon. So this is gonna be an opening for the red squad. Sereza way too busy with the Doomfist. And Samora swooping on in with the Reaper. The problem with the red team is they made such a good play with that dragon strike. But they're too focused on Calamitas. You, you, can't, you can't be too focused on this guy. Like, there is a time and a place to actually move on in with the payload. The Doomfist can't get picks if they're gonna be six of you all together. They need to get that payload pushing because that is a very, very, very difficult show point to get through. And tomorrow now, and they're having a hard time. They are gonna have a difficult time because it's gonna be a Reaper to contest as well as the Doomfist. And what the blue team has been doing is just keeping the payload by the gates. Tomorrow, honestly, taking control of this and the payload just stuck right now. They have the McCree, they have the Hanzo. These two characters are pretty good at getting headshots, but not in close quarters compared to the Reaper and the Doomfist. Finally, they get rid of Calamitas in practice. So, and the Coalescence comes on out here for the Red Squad. A very good decision done by the blue team, depending on that point as well. They're going full, they're doing the same thing as the Spartans did right? ages and ages and ages ago. It doesn't matter how many they are, as long as you funnel them in a small space. And all you have to do is just focus on one one spot and just shoot through that thing. Now here comes Red Team with the whole hog taking taking out no one, but the Red Team have taking out most of the most of the people on Blue Team and the Reaper and Calamitous as well, being a, giving them a free time to at least have a few seconds of a push right here. And here comes the second. Here comes another choke point that they will have to be worried about. Yeah, so we do, we are gonna near the bridge area, but Cairo switched over to the far Wallow, exactly what they needed to get rid of the choke, just apply some pressure to the back line. Tomorrow, forced to go onto the far as well, switching out to the Reaper, due to the fact that Cairo on this far will be more or less uncontested by a Doofus Reaper combination. Cairo now gets rid of Mongler, gonna have an aerial battle. Brackless putting up the mines by the bridgeway area, but Laugh, Laugh Roy, I don't know how to say that name, I'll just call it Laugh. Biotic Orb gets picked down onto the Wrecking Ball this time, I'd imagine. Now, Nana puts it up, oh no! The Diva doesn't have the thrusters! What the hell was that there from Adamantium? <laughs> Omega Lulu. Oh no! That was, that was a dot 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 moment. Garrett and Surge into a Dragon Strike right now. Praft is staying alive thanks to the shields, but Chiyaki pushing on in with the amount of energy that he has. So the Zarya now being the DPS that they need, the Red Squad gets the second point. I like the effort done by practice and with his uh, mine a while ago, but it felt, but it just wasn't enough, considering that he tried to control this. He tried to control the space with the mines, but then, you know, there, there was no follow up. That's a, that's a couple of things you need, to, like a person needs to remember, especially for for tanks using their ultimates. That most of your ultimates would probably would probably need people to follow up. If you can't see no one to actually, if you can't see anyone to actually help you out, as soon as you press your ultimate, it's you might as well just hold it in. Yeah, it all also depends on how you need to choke point in the first place. Kyra though with the shutdown on to tomorrow. Rocket Barrage is available. Gonna make it very lots of practice. It's gonna be three more kills for Kyru. Perfect Rocket Barrage there. The sleep dart way too late from Marky. And that's gonna be a team kill here. The red team uncontested now moving on to the push by the throw room tomorrow. Just waiting on, but he knows there's the nose. Tamora knows that Devara is there. She's waiting for an opportunity to strike. Rocket Barrage is available. Good rotation to the left hand oh, side. Self destruct comes up out. And the Magic takes down Kairu. Cool. Let's they're trying to do some Graviton. Graviton from the red team, as well as a Dragon now to take down Practice. Devara, though, still holding this in. The Rocket Barrage will be one to watch in this fight if. The blue squad can't keep this up. Reishi gets taken down. Rock Raj is in. Cyrezo gets balls. Tomorrow with a takedown onto two. But it's way too late. Swarly swoops on in with the Storm Arrows. A very beautiful... A very beautiful rocket barrage done by Kairu right there. Taking out four people in one go. Whew! 
Yeah, so let's that was watch, great. Let's watch this again. So, uh, here we do have Cairo getting rid of Tamora first. So no Farah in this fight, and using the vertical clearance of the map to his advantage. Honestly, no one actually spotted him until it was way too late. Marky sleep dart on in, but it was also way too late. Everyone's already dead. Woke up immediately anyway. So the Genji dies at the end. So Tamora and uh Cairo having such a solid uh aerial battle. <laughs> <laughs> the chat though. That's fine. That's here we go. <laughs> no holding back. Talaga. Such is this chill lang naman eh. We we all Gucci. And if anyone ever if people get get to hurt, it's uh untag dito. We always have a one v one system naman. Ago na. <laughs> 1v1 system whenever get someone gets uh, someone wants to set those scores. Yes, yes. <laughs> that, that I want to see. That I want someone to shout cast for. <laughs> it wasn't the, always the best. I, I, I'm, like, I'm like, you know what? Let that happens. You want 1v1? That day. I didn't know. I didn't know those things happen. Pag may mga yung mga nagaaway away. Tagal na nun. Back in the day. Back in the day. I remember when I used to play League of Legends. We used to do that. Yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a mobile yeah, in the first place. But anyway, looking at the attack, we do have Calamity. It's gonna be on the Doomfist once again, but this time we won't have the castle to work with. More on the other hand, gonna be on his Farah. Just decides not to play the far. He's like, nope, I don't want to play against that. So the red team gonna have a doofus in their arsenal. And Kairu, what Kairu did there was he knew where Calamitous was gonna go. He he just allowed Calamitous to go for his rollout, and he took him down as Calamitous came on in. But Marky with the counter, wrecking, uh, going for the charge, takes down the red doofus. So the so the, squad right now. Okay, yes. so the red squad right now keeping the gates pretty much secured. Kalamp is gonna swoop on by once again, putting out the rollout. Chiyaki putting gonna be launched into the air. Mongler on the back line, however, but with beyond the Zenyata, allowing the Discord Arb. And what's really good with the Doofus Zen combination, you Discord Arb whoever your Doofus is comboing it in, and it's gonna be a lot faster for Doofus to actually get the kill. Doesn't even need to go for the left flicks, allowing him to actually use his other abilities onto opposing targets. So now the blue squad in control. Transcend is available. Mongler will use it. Doesn't want to die against the Roadhog. Gonna push on in. Gonna be the blue squad now taking control of the first point. A 300 IQ doing this. Dude, it's because these we, we know the rollouts already. They keep doing it here. So people just stand by at the back and just get the punch out. It's just it's just literally trial and error here from you guys. Calamity still trying to bully the Moira. Oh, goodbye, Cereza. Are gonna slip by to the forest. Yes, he is gonna get lost now. Peter Pan, Wendy looking for you now. Calamity still with enough set kills. Maybe three kills so far. Tomorrow swooping on in. Has the Reaper. Death Blossom is available. But also he doesn't need it. Kairu holding on to those ult the the three dance and finally gets two more kills. The Doofus fight has been one to watch. Mongler! Oh no! 300 things for Mongler. And Kairu once again popping off. The Doofus are going absolutely crazy. Tracy and Chiyaki now ready. The one I'm no. talking about? The Doofus 1v1? Is this, this is, it? This is the Doofus 1v1 right here. So Dragon Strike is available as well as the Graviton Surge in the Valkyrie. So there's no gonna pop the whole hog. Looking Marky to the corner. Tomorrow in the back line though, gets rid of Kairu. Unfortunate there. The Doofus just comes on out, gets a face full of bullets. Laugh, right, laugh there, just going for the crouch, gets taken down. Reishi getting the res on out, and it's gonna be Kairu's time to shine. But <laughs> They're both Doofus hit each other out. Swarly with another set of takedowns. Shiaki grabs the surge on the practice. And the poor poor Hanzo eats up a dragon as well. Mongrel now stuck in the corner. Gets taken down. Gonna be a push in here from the red squad. Forcing the blue team now to retreat back to the lower catacombs of the Ikewaz castle. Blue team's gonna have to... Blue team's gonna have a hard time pushing into that that last point of uh, last point because it's closer to the red team spawn, defensive team spawn. What they can do is wait for Ultimus right now. They have two of them, which is a Earth Shatter and a Nano Boost. But if they can wait for at least Calamitous to get his Meteor Strike, I think they they might stand a chance to get in this next push. 
Okay, so they have the shirt. Shout out they have the Nana Boost. They can go for the push on in. Here comes the slam. Doesn't really get much kills. It does get three, but notice the disable isn't followed up. Natsu is going the way of the defense. Kyrie once again has the meter strike. Marky though going rampant in the front line. Fire strike last one in. Oh, the last row. Goodbye, Marky. Gonna be booped into the river instead. Doof is now looking for an opportunity to strike. Gonna go for the rollout. Will it actually work out in his favor? Yes, it is. Mongler is the one to fall. Brack is using the lunge. Stays alive for the time being, but gets caught in the air by the Doofus. Feature strike now being used by Calamus. And the rising of cut there to mitigate the damage. Coalescence comes on out from Laugh, and the Red Squad still in control of this. Gonna go for the defense, defensive hold for the time being. Give you sit down. <clears throat> and we're back to square one again. We're back for Blue Team. They're back at square one. They actually they still have the, another one coming in from Farad, the, the Rocket Barrage, but it's not going to be enough to take. Not going to be enough for this one because they don't have any disables to actually help her, help the fire out. What they can do is start brawling out and to look for picks right here, which is what Kamalabit is trying to do. So who comes the uh, Red Squad right now? Gonna. Oh. Push on in. Mongler does have the transcendence. Two kills going the way of the offensive. Gonna go for the second point as well. Can they actually make it? That is gonna be the real question. Farley though has the dragon strike. And here comes the grab. Here comes the dragon. Practice with a takedown on to one. Dragon search is available. Rage. They're getting taken down. Practice with another set of kills. The Zarya finally popping off. Getting the charge that he needs to get some damage done. The blue team now moving on to the second point. Gets gets that extra time that they need. There we go. Like Took a while. The Calamitous is diving in again. He might probably be might just like he did. Strike that comes on out in the four. And as Cal says in the shot, two remains have the lives. The game bounced around by pinballs. That's what you get for being so huge. Jiggles now going the way of the blue team. Tomorrow with the take out. So Rocket Raj is available. The blue squad keeping this up. Another set of kills going the way of the offensive. And this ha looks like more or less it's going to be uncontested till the throne itself. <laughs> Nana Boost is available now and Kalam Lande just gonna go for the push on in. Look at this Mongler being a turret. Now he's gonna get flashbang. Apparently turrets have eyes and gets taken down by Kairu. Reishi has the Valkyrie just trying on to stay on to the left hand side. Good charge there from Marky. Able to get rid of Chiyaki but Cerezo gonna go for the counter place. Hook into a shot onto Kalam. Thus is aiming the Doomfist and taking him down. Uswad now trying to go for the retreat and the red team has to hold for two more minutes. Last push again, the, the crucial part. It's closest to the enemy spawn. The enemy team is going on for full burst damage with the with the <clears throat> with the junkrat, and they also have the Makri as well to try to try and see if they can stun the do the calamitous and do this. <clears throat> they're gonna have to they're gonna have to start going all out in this one. Probably this... wait for a monger to have his. That's what they did wait already. They've and done. Sentence. They've done so. Did a marquee shatters on in gets four. We do have the. Uh, the rip tired there, but too, oh, too there, we uh. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Forget the transcendence. Go. Just push it in. Kill people. Easy. Who cares? Who cares? Follow me. I made long guys. Uh, I will. I will allow. Dude, you just take controls on the left. Wait long. I see. I see. I see. And yeah, sure. One minute thirty-six for the blue team. The blue team is on. Defense right now with the red team pushing in with one minute. They're gonna have to go for full dive here if they actually want to gain some time. But I think they're just gonna go for just a Winston dive and do one hit scan, one sniper. This is pretty standard. This is pretty standard considering. But they having a Zarya to have to wait for a charge isn't gonna be enough. Isn't gonna be enough. They might want to opt for something else that can actually follow up with the Winston. A diva would be good on this one. In Let's see if they. They will just have to wait and see if they decide for something else. Also, the blue team going in for a again with the same team comp that they had a while ago. In Calamity is gonna go going in for another, for another roll out. Hope. Let's see if he actually gets a couple of kills. Now. And if he does, it's gonna be a full easy defense for them. Calamitous waiting. Here we go.
Okay, Calamity is diving in, doing in a full on 125 charge roll out. Doesn't hit anyone, pops out. So, what's been happening? Pops out and gets healed. The, the um, red team just pushed him. He tried doing a roll out. Yeah. Nah, it's not he is gonna go work out there. So anyway, the red team already half a, half a minute remaining. Not really too much time in the first place. Here comes Timara up on top, waiting for a shot or two. Also, this is gonna be a good purge, honestly, for the Reaper if he had the Death Blossom. But instead, that's gonna be a very, very easy target for Swarly. The Hanzo now picking up to The Red Squad gonna go for the push on in. Can they actually make it in this fight? 10 seconds remaining. Can the Red Squad get onto the point? Yes, they do. Cyrazer jumps on in, gets rid of Adamantium. Gonna hop on out to the other side. Marky just swinging at the absolute nothing. The air taking the whole force of the hammer. And the Red Squad finally getting captured onto the point for now. Tomorrow, though, gonna raid farm out. Has the back off they need to cascade on in with the defense it said Calamdos swoops on by from the top rope gets nothing and Swarly with the takedown good try a good try by Calamdos right there red team did what they were supposed to do a full-on push just don't give just don't give an f it's one minute left that's the only thing you can do right now and pray to god that you actually defend uh, pray to god that you can actually push through they were able to construct Consider uh, because of the Moira of going on full, uh, going in 100%, getting that charge as fast as possible. Coalescence coming in and they ready. So Jedi Problem. is available here for Cairo. And Samora, what are you doing there? Samora just contemplating about life. Doesn't really get much. Gets taken down by two so far. The Red Squad gonna push on in. And we have a grab cluster now from Chiyaki. Another set of kills here. Allowing them to push on by with the momentum. Margie forced to retreat. And this is gonna be pretty smart here from the Blue Squad. They're gonna defend on the bridge instead. They have already lost them first fight. And the only choice that they do have is not get staggered, not get taken down. Shatter is available. Nana Boo as well as the Graviton so this might be a huge combination here for Blue Squad to steal the steal in this fight. Capital Surge is going to be first. Cyrisa jumps on out. Marky in the back line gets the Shatter, gets the charge, takes down Swarly. Kairu though taking a lot of damage gets pulled down by the Zarya. Thank you, thank you for the raid there, Maya. As Reishi now with the res on to Swarly. Laugh gets killed there by Tamora. And we have a Dragon Strike into the middle. But the payload is involved above the red team using the Dragon as cover. Marky now just swinging on by. And looks like it's going to be a chase down and a take down on the Cyraza. But the Winston staying alive for the time being. Dead Blossom to seal the deal. <laughs> Thanks for, the, it, it was like, thanks for the raid, Maya. <laughs> Welcome to Community Scrims of your love, love you over Rush. And thank you guys for going with Maya. Shout outs to Maya Rocks right there. Give you some SO. And yeah, we're just doing scrims as per usual because it's a Sunday. We do scrims for Overwatch thrice a week. And then I do have different content as well. So tonight, I'm going to have a, another set of open division matches. So if you guys do like Overwatch and casting, this is going to be the this is gonna be the place to be. And joining me today is Monster Potato or Drop Shot. And we'll have a very special segment after this one. So stay tuned. Hello. It's going to be a 1, one minute 36 hour for the attack. And what are they going to run? That is the real question. Are they going to go for the Bastion as soon as you get the payload? Are they going to go for the Symmetra to try and uh, get past the bridgeway? What do you think? Uh, I sure wish they go for the Symmetra. I want to see them. I want to see them go tele teleport in, get past, get, get get through the first choke point, you know, as much as possible, as much as possible, get on the point and force a fight as soon as they can they don't have that much much time and they can do that with a symmetra they can do that with other team with another team cop as well but i would suggest that get the dive or get anyone that can actually yeah. Well, Brawl right for now. the red team right now, they do take control of the ground. They have the Arisa, they have the Junkrat. Gonna be able to just make a foothold and spam grenades from it. It will be up to Mark to protect his team as much as he can. And Spratus will have a lot of energy thanks to the Junkrat. Already 68 energy. Gonna push on him. Has the e barrier as well. And the right clicks connect to Mora now. Gonna raid for him. Gonna want to get a kill onto Laugh as well. In the meantime, Laugh just trying to stay alive with that Moira. The test now happening onto the point. Can the Reaper actually get on by? No, Kairu swoops on and flashbacks out. But Timora will be able to take control of the close quarter corner. Six seconds remaining. The blue team getting the first stick for the time being. No ultimates yet for either side. Still, Laugh gets the coalescent on out. Healing up his team. The red team will go for the push. And Mongler will respond in kind. There'll be a battle of Kamehameha's here from these two Moiras. Practice staying alive. Two kills going the way of the blue squad so far. 
are gonna be a bio orb there as well. Three kills now going away off the offensive. This is exactly what they need to be in this fight. A total brawl, exactly what they needed. Now they're gonna have to see. The, now they're gonna have to push as far as far as they can on this one. Make sure they don't get choked in from under the bridge and at the same time and at the gate as well, which was which is the easiest parts for the for the red team to be defending, especially having a junkrat, junkrat on their team. Just a couple of spams in one spot and they, it would be a game over for red for for the blue team right here. And this might be it. Honestly, I would say Swarly using the Riptar a little too early. Couldn't wait for the overtime to actually start picking. Gets rid of Mongler. And Simora will be able to take down the Mobile Jump Rat. One for one trade so far. But Kairu putting out the advantage. Dragon Blade is whipped out by Calam. The soaring into the air like an eagle. Gets a few more kills the, the way of the blue squad. Who is going to be forcing, uh, forcing rather Reishi to go for the Valkyrie. Trying to stay up on top. So Razor with a takedown on to one. Here comes the blue team pushing on. And once again, at the Mantra all the way in the back line. Rabaton surge here from the blue squad. Just who wants to get rid of Chiaki. Not allowing to go for his own grab. But honestly, it will be very, very dangerous for that next fight. Because the red team can still make this. Can still delay for Chiaki's sake. But Calam is now cleaving the back line. Gets rid of the Moira and the Soldier 76. As well as the Roadhog. Very, very dangerous now here for the defense. The fire mercy making it very difficult for the for the for the red, for the blue team a while ago, but they yeah, actually took them out. But anyway, they're here at the point already. Shatter is blocked. Grab the search comes on now. Tomorrow with the death blossom at the doorway, and that's gonna be the game. The blue team takes it. Solid, solid effort there, and very, very close from both squads. The graviton was there, but there was no one on the payload. Yeah, he, he died. He died way too fast. Just gets. Gus gets destroyed there by all the damage. Tomorrow as well, hitting the shotgun shot first and foremost before actually going for the death blossom on the doorway. I love it. I love it. The transcendence pay of play of the game. There we go. 300 ping play, by the way. Wrecking ball. Hopefully, they would start praying. Hopefully, Calamitous would be landing headshots through that choke point as well. On the red team, they also have, they have a Zarya, Moira, uh, Mercy, Bridget, and Widow and Ryan. Oh, Widowmaker maker that was taken so, down really quick. So this is what <laughs> Fatrick is doing. We've seen this before. Dodge got stuck like an idiot. But anyway, so Fatrick's gonna try to roll on in, go for the pile driver. Gets absolutely nothing with that one. So all that effort for nothing. But in the meantime, Columbus making a count already 85% with the dragon strike. This guy is gonna get an ultimate by the 40 second mark. He can just launch it right now. Just go for the hail mary play, and that's what he's gonna do. Dragon comes on it, eats some damage up. Fatrick gonna swoop on in as well. Gets two so far from the Hanzo. And that was a very, very quick Dragon Strike there from Calamitous. Really quick, like Overwatch level fast, like Overwatch League level fast. I'm actually surprised he was after, he was able to do that. That's the first time I've seen something that quick. That's, that's what you get when you have a uh, washed up GM play Hanzo. Tracker though, trying to deal with Marky, but the diva can hop on inspired. down. But, <laughs> inspired. Yeah, inspired right there. But Tracker actually having the safe range to get some shots up on top of the ramen shop. Kanakura now gonna go for the coalescent push on in. Alexi getting the res onto Calamitous. Punch and go trading it back. Once it's going for the grapple hook kills. Blue squad taking control of the point, and here comes the sudden stuff there from Marky. He gets to VJ Dato and Zen both get taken down. And the team name, honestly, very, very inspiring here for the blue squad. Big boy, not talaga si Calamitous. It's it's the team name. It's, it's the team name. name. That's why Calamitous is popping off. That 100% name. <laughs> yeah, so now the now the blue uh, team has four ultimates that can be that that is very combo where we have a. EMP and another Dragon Strike by Calamitous, which is gonna come out pretty much, pretty much right now if he wants to. Ooh, what was that? Cracker popped the Inversite, but honestly didn't turn around to go for the Sombra kill. Honestly, made maybe too much tunnel vision from the Widowmaker. The red team tried to make his count, did go for the rally as well as the grab for the surge. The blue squad responded in kind with a bunch of ultimates as well. Now we have a Valkyrie here from VJ Dot to try to keep everyone top down. He whips out the pistol and he's out for blood at the mansion, though. Really not stronger in third of damage potential getting some picks now for the blue squad to have fallen the Brigitte stuck into the side Zen now not under <laughs> any duress but in the fall instead the blue squad now able to hold on to the point dinks, dinks the sound of dinks is happening everywhere right now oh and there goes another one 
Calamitous showing us what it's like what it's like to play Hanzo at the top level. Wow. Shout outs though to Sarki and Hiki. What's up guys? If you guys do want to join the battle tag is down below in the stream. Or if you can use the command as well, the type and exit for join joincom to join our community scripts. Dragon Strike as well. The mines do come on out. Kanakura with the coalescence as well. Calamitous making a lot of enemies here with those dragons. Just you see this? Okay, let me just say something. You see the gates? It has the dragon symbol. It's always Calamitous just whipping out that dragon instead. But then here it comes with a chase down and the takedown. Funny enough, Practice was just hiding, laughed at Calamitous die. And it's gonna be the Sombra. Oh, almost taken, I think taken down by the Brigitte. Her chatter is available all to the point. There's gonna be a transcendence in response from Adam Mantium. Who's going to go for the push, but it's gonna be dodge is now putting the power slam, putting the earth shatter there onto the stairway. The red squad still trying to take control. Gets two kills so far with the help of Vigilance. He has a hundred energy and a dream, but the EMP can change all that if the Sombra can get in position. Yes, he does! Two kills going the way here of practice. Kanakura getting half enough up as well. No six being taken here by the red squad and that EMP at the last moment absolutely clutch absolutely clutch Sen with the rally out of desperation just trying to keep the contest alive he gets a takedown on the practice Calamity is forced to hop onto the point but the Brigitte is one it's very very much of a hassle to try and deal with and the Brigitte gets to out of nowhere clutching it out that is the most balanced hero in the game guys bar none grab the search is available for the side of the red team Subtle Shock into the corner will need to kill Snow it won't Varky and Funchuk honestly not using their CC at the proper areas all the way in the back Line. What is the point of that? Not gonna be the choke point that they need. Now both are gonna fall in the face of the red squad and the Brigitte clutch there from Zen. Double clutch from both practice and Zen in that uh, arrangement. That was those are very intense fights. Just that it came down it just came down to which which one actually was able to use their ultimates in the proper properly. But uh, uh, there's been a lot of sh uh, shots been thrown, like the graviton surges that were very questionable, and then we have also seen <clears throat> we've also seen the usual the usual push in by the tanks. But then the EMP that was very very huge, but still wasn't enough. Yeah, feels well, very bad. It feels bad, man. But Calamus now speaking of feels bad, the rain is really strong. Dragon Strike now comes on out, gets rid of Kanakura. Wrap this. Oh, see, spots the tracker. The poor Widowmaker just jumps out like Metal Gear Solid, but gets surprised by the arrangement from the Sombra. Now we have a rally once again from Zen, and he's been the rallying cry, honestly, of the red squad being the John the Arc that they need. The blue team staying on to the point. The red team, though, already with a pick up onto both the Sombra and the Zen, and even the Baby Diva. So Fajik is gonna be there with a the hope and a prayer. Just trying to charge up these shields as well. Here comes the swoop on in. Kanakura tossing out the bio arm. Alex really little gets taken down. Gonna be eight transcendents now from Adamantium. And there's the EMP from Practice. Will lead to any kills. Not as of yet. Earth Chatter is available. Dodge is coming in from the left hand flap. Gonna go for the pin. That spawn trick out of nowhere. Even the hamster was surprised of that practice. Going on to the tracer. Gets a uh, shield bash there from Zen. The self destruct will need to kill. Yes, PG Tato is first to fall. Dodges though with three, with four. Shatter comes on out onto Calamitous. Fortune gets trapped by the Graviton. And huge ultimates at the end from the red team. Sealed it on Hanamura. Them EMPs though. My god. <laughs> Dude, Talk solid. about value for one Q. <laughs> so so much value from both sides. Uh, I'd honestly give the shout outs there to practice and Zen on the Sombra and the Brigitte. At the end, very, very smart usage by the Red Squad in terms of their ultimate dodges. Using the Shatter on the pesky hero of, of Calamitous, as well as the Graviton mm -hmm. there from the Red Squad, just putting Funtrick into the corner, giving him a quick little timeout. And now gonna be the blue team trying to replicate the success of the red squad. <clears throat> oh, they're gonna be doing the same comp. I, they're they're gonna be doing the same comp as I can see. But then they're swapping they're swapping a DPS for a Brigitta, which is pretty standard nowadays. Uh huh. I cool. can see this happening. I can see this happening just to add that extra CC, add that extra layer of CC, or if they actually inter if they're anticipating a Reinhardt on the enemy team. <clears throat> That's another way to counter with a Brigitta. Just to just to give your tanks, you know, the extra oomph as you push through, and also that ultimate from Brigitte works. It works wonders. It gives it gives you movement speed and at the same time a crap ton of armor and healing for those for those situations that you want to flip. 
and you play for flat suspension thank you depends what what city is your school is that like san juan is it like savior in like san juan or something yeah you gotta pray for, to that guy but anyway guys you should pray for the people who are actually drowning outside real talk but but anyway, hope you guys are safe and sound inside. Feel free to enjoy the stream or feel free to join the scrims. Either way, it makes me happy. Okay, five coffee, seconds remaining here. And Watch the streams. Yeah, whatever. It's a <laughs> usual plug. I don't really care. It's like, just join or just watch it. Just have fun. If you guys if you guys have fun, uh, that's all that matters to me. That's all I need. I don't really care much about the numbers anymore. It's like, fuck. We're past that. It's just about, it's just about the people who actually have fun with overwatch again giving them an outlet and in the meantime the dodge is getting a lot of outlets for the ultimate charge he's already at 83 percent he can get a shatter with one more fire strike doesn't connect onto two and he gets whip shot then to the back line honestly the whip shot there is saving him and he can go for the shatter right now to turn things around marky onto the floor zarya high charge but really really low hp gets to stay alive thanks to the personnel bubble and akura has the coalescence as well trying to turn things around but instead gets hooked up by practice Good, good stun there from the Roadhog and the blue squad tried to take take control of the point. Here comes Kanakura once again, getting a few hammer swings, but the Mora apparently hard headed gets taken down finally by the blue team. So yeah, it's gonna be the blue team good. to catch it. Oh, classic brawls, dude. The way I've been talking about. Don't. The best thing you can do at that choke point is not stand there. Don't be. Don't do a full on choke point choke point defense simulator. Just brawl it out. Press W. Press whatever you can, press whatever button you can, your left click, whatever, just get out of that choke point as soon as you can. Because once you start giving out ultimates from the defensive team, you're not going to go through and live through that momentum as the blue team is going for right here. Going for the momentum, dropping the ultimate. <laughs> Wait, speaking, the speaking of the momentum. Just adamantum soundbar and Kenikura is like, wait, what the hell is happening? How are they on our point already? The blue squad, 621 on the time bound. And that's what you get when you run with the goats. Mm-hmm. Well, it's that not really it's, a, it's three, three, the ultimate now. popped early just so they can run really quick to the next point. Beautiful dude. Mm -hmm. Good. Good good job there from the blue team. And now welcome to why this is why we don't do two CP too much. Because these things goats. happen. And our games <laughs> last so long. I love being silver, all the toxic people, lol. Don't worry. Uh, toxic people are everywhere. From bronze to grandmaster to top 500. That's a thing. That's a thing. Even your favorite streamers are toxic AF sometimes. <laughs> if you really want a toxic free environment, you don't play conflict. You play scrims, you play bugs, these kind of things. Because you know the people a lot more chill. And at the same time, you, you get to know the people you're actually playing against. These bugs or scrims happen in different skill ratings. Some of them have restrictions, some of them don't. It all depends on what the community has to offer in the first place. So honestly, competitive is something you want to grind. I would suggest for anyone who plays competitive to only to... If there's too much toxicity, just press Control shift c and leave voice chat. Because there's no real point anyway to co communicate with people like that. But it is what it is. There's always assholes in the world. There's always people who... You know, just don't appreciate. Yeah, whatever. This is what it is. That's all I have to say. Yeah, but it's only a matter of how you respond yeah. to the toxicity, actually. Yeah, the red team now gonna be running the far mercy, and interesting to note that it's gonna be dodged this on the far, bringing it back from what? When the hell was that? Like two years ago, when dodge was still a DPS game. This is the first time I've actually seen dodge play in Fara. He used to I play thought it was a pure tactic. He used to play far a hell of a lot, far and Sombra. But anyway, just just watch how Dodge is trying to move around the map, trying to get the shots there. Onto Alexeed, finally Ooh. gets the shot there. Onto the Mercy, but at what cost to have fallen here for the attack? Zed even struggling to move fast. Dodge is now with a take on onto Calamitous at the Mandimir. Putting up the Discord but Dodge just swoops in from the sky, gets a takedown onto one. Gonna be a blast from the class, getting rid of the blue squad one by one. Wow, they actually went went for it. A full fire mercy, a full fire mercy, and just fighting it out, which well, is pretty good if they expected, if they actually anticipated the the blue team not having any hit scans to cover, and that the, was really really good. I guess the best, uh, what do you call this? The best counters to tank heavy compositions are always the Farah, the Junkrat, the Doomfist, and the 
Thanks for the Reaper. In more or less in that order. It all depends on what kind of control you want. Doomfist gets CC'd. Mm -hmm. The Reaper gets CC'd pretty easily. Oh, no. The Pharah is the one who actually is uncontested now. But Tracker swoops on in, gets one, takes down at the Mantium. We do have the mines from practice, however, to try and take control of the third point. Look at that, just making a quick little minefield onto the top part. Which is going go to the Shatter, gets a bit of Alex Seed, marking now Gay B Mech hopping on backwards. Dodges does have the Rocket Barrage after the kill there onto the Diva, gonna drop on in and add the Magnum in a tough spot, stays alive thanks to spawn and vulnerability at the last moment. Minefield is gonna be popped, and here comes Adamantium trying to just get out and pop the Transcendence. Can the Red Squad make this count, get that fourth point here? But now Vigilance just not boosted up, being swooped around by Funtrick, the blue squad, and be able to control this point for the time being. It's a good defense by the blue squad right here, and considering that they didn't have any ultimates to spare on that one, and now they actually have a, trans a Transcendence and a Dragon Strike. It's going to be easier for them to defend this one again, but I think since Dodge hasn't used his uh, uh, Rocket Barrage, it might flip things over for in the red team's favor here. They're just gonna have to see. They're just gonna have to. Nope, never mind. Have, um, nope. Uh, the, this, that. this is the part where you say, nope, never mind. The Lamas goes for the Dragon Strike, takes down Dodge, gets rid of DJ Dato as well. Vigilance I forgot though. that Calamitous was on blue. <laughs> Which is also trying to get uh, behind. And honestly, that was because the red is interesting. Out of all things, what the Farah did was run onto the right hand side. Absolutely unnecessary there from Dodge this. Marking now going for the turnaround and the matchup taking control of the top part as well. Kanakura swooping on by Wrecking Ball gets it scored up and here's the transcendence. A little too early for my taste there from Adam Matthew, but it is what it is. Two kills going the way in the defense, and that's gonna be a hold here by the fourth point. I mean he probably he probably transcendents there for style points. I'll give him that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. Here we go! Ooh. Nirvana! I'll give it I'll give it to him. <laughs> But well, anyway, the blue team on the other hand has 621. They can literally take a nap and come back and they still have time in their time bag to actually go for the push. And I honestly expect that they play a goat stomp or something like that again. In this, yeah. again, just to make this a fast one. They are actually going for it right now. Please do it. Classic 2CP. 2CP <laughs> Lou. Why do we even do 2CP? By the way. Oh Just no, they're not case. doing goats. Oh, they're, yeah. they're, they're scratch that. Scratch that. They're going for a. They're yeah, going can. for a usual one sniper, one hit scan, probably. In <sighs> one sniper or Reaper? Show yeah. me Reaper practice. Draw Namura. I have a... It's actually draw Namura pull because uh, the red team didn't get a single tick there. So there is an mm -hmm. opportunity to actually go for the tie. But the odds are heavily in favor of the blue squad. Oh, Reishi, what's up, Reishi? Thanks for joining, girl. 6.621 on their time back. It's very, 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 very possible for me. 621 is that, time, is that kind of time where you're like, okay, guys, we can just relax. Just get some picks one by one. And on the other hand, the red team gonna full commit with a bastion. But interesting enough, Gonna be Kanakura but, getting to kill one onto one, but I'm very interested in this red team defense because the Bastion will be inside, yes, but Dodge just has to rotate in the way that the Bastion is protected. But he, instead, he's going to go for a reversal instead. So maybe the Sombra can get a pick or two in this fight. The Zen now of Zen in trouble, taking so much damage, gets healed up finally. So the blue squad does get felled for that first attack. If we consider how far Dodge is actually placing himself away from the Bastion. The Sombra will it is the key to is the key in this one though. She can just do a full flank and one hack on the on the Reinhardt will flip everything over and they actually yeah, have to bash it. Practice oh, practice already game two. There we go. Almost gets a kill on the dodges. Oh well, and Tracker is forced to play healer 76 in this one. But the blue squad now gonna cast cave on in. One trick versus dodges might go in the favor of the blue Reinhardt. Dragon Strike is available over Calamitous as well. And he gets a headshot on the tracker as well as Dodge, Ooh. as well as Zen. Practice there, whittling them down for those last kills. And as I was saying, the red team, their positioning, very, very questionable in that one. It worked the first time, but that's it. It will work one time. The moment 
if you don't relocate as a bastion, they will know, they can predict, and they can plan accordingly. So for now, the red team has to back off onto the point. Tracker and Vigilance taking up oh the high ground, no. and Configuration Tank is available, but VJ Dato falling, getting staggered is very dangerous for them. Oh no, that was... That was rough. Yeah, EMP now comes on out, dodges Vigilance. Okay, never mind. The EMP actually is scaring the two tanks to get onto the point. Zen a little too late with the trance as well. And Kalamikasa taking the win in Hanamura. Ooh, <laughs> hashtag Kalamikasa, let's go! So, that was such a Ginagawanyo <laughs> moment, honestly, from from the red team. Everyone just ran away thanks to the EMP. But anyway, Dodge is here with play of the game. This is a really good fire strike. He got two, and he went the shatter onto Kalamikasa as well, just for good measure. <laughs> Oh yeah, the blue team, you get the personal satisfaction of getting the pochi, so it is what it is. So gonna be gardens, take it away, uh, drop shot. Alright, blue team, uh, blue team with a Genji, Diva, Diva, Farah, Mercy, uh, Winston, and a Lucio, alongside an, alongside red team with a Tracer, Tracer, Lucio, Soldier 76, and a Winston, Diva, and a Moira as well. But it looks like it uh, looks like the red team's actually winning this time, taking out taking out the Mercy, Genji, and the Lucio as well. Oh wow, picks are coming out all over the place. Well, let me just explain what happened there. The red was using Swarly speed boost to formation. In the meantime, they just ran over Marky. Honestly, the Lucio out of position in that one. So the red team now taking control of the point. And interesting to note that Redux is going to be playing the Soldier 76 over a Widow over a McCree. A little more old school. And now Calamitous dashing on in gets to really shocked up but can take the fight here against the Winston tank still pocket heals from the Mercy. But he falls to Swarty. Okay, good job. Didn't even get the wall climb. Unfortunate there for uh, Calamitous. A like wall climb. Angle. Angle. Slope. Eh? So it's weird. So we're, the interaction there is weird. Anyway, self destruct now comes on now. Chiyaki trying to get a kill. Instead, just make some space here for the red team. Sunbarrier is available, but Redux able to shut it down without the need of a defensive ult. Goodbye. Oh, the Winston gonna pop the primary to stay into the fight. J22 doesn't want to get pooped up. Instead, gonna go for the aggressive play. They're going in way. The red team is going in way deep on this one, trying to trying to get the blue team to like push back as far as they can, get as much time as possible, because it's. Because if in this map, take backs are really really quick. As long as you have the ultimates, as long as you have the ultimates to spare and a good pos and good positioning around the back, around the back, which is the best best spot to fight right now. And here we go, ultimates are popping in. Take back and the take back is coming in. Slice and dice, calamitous with everything nice. Calamitous is only getting one soundbar is to be pop, and here comes attack level visor. Way too late in that fight. You want to use attack visor when the soldier is actually away from the bulk of the damage. Instead, he uses it, and Calamitous just goes on in. Almost falls down for Calamitous, but this is gonna be the blue squad now finally get, getting the capture. Honestly, a little a little later than many expected. The Dragon Blade not as potent as it could be. So for now, the blue team gonna work on in to get some progress done. The red squad though, a valiant defense of 84%. The pushback by the red team a while ago made it made it longer for the for the uh, for the blue team to take back to take back the uh, the point, giving them at least an 84% charge. Now they're gonna have to play it out. See, the, the red team's gonna have to play it out. See, they well, can do the same. Comes up, and self destruct is not getting any kills. Sorry about that. Swarly though, way to take down on to practice getting the sound wave. Just definitely the soldier 76 in that fight the red team though still in control just putting the winston and the diva in its place the red team right now taking complete control of the point i thought for a second there that calamitous was actually going for a spawn kill but then i realized everyone was on the point <laughs> That's a problem if you actually overextend as a planter. You can't actually support your team. A sponge now forced to jump into the point. He doesn't have the primary rage, however, very, very dangerous here and gets taken down quite easily by a rage. A self destruct. Oh no! Adam Magic still gets one, but that could have been such a good Kobe play. Good effort though from the Dirt 2 Diva, getting rid of the Moira, allowing the blue team to swoop on by with superior heals redux with the shutdown flash banging on in and the winston and the blue show gonna keep the contest alive sound barrier comes on out but redux sadly hiding behind the column doesn't get affected by the sound barrier swarly just jumping around alongside j22 who just popped out of the primal rage 
Marky though still ready with his own soundbar. Gonna pop it here. Almost falls. Practice now. Gain attack visor on out. Overtime still ticking away. The Red Squad now losing members and losing members fast. As Calamity is cutting his way to victory. Takes down two. Swarly gets taken down as well. We have the Valkyrie here from Alex Heath, and this looks like the Blue Squad are gonna be taking control of this. Thank you for the follow there. A O nine one five eight one four five eight eight. Wow. <laughs> wow. We're not we're not done with the fight though. So we can still see that the Blue Squad trying to take control. I thought they were gonna uh, add on to the fight, but it's okay. Emma now coalesces comes on out at the match himself. The shock still available. Can go for the D-Mech remake so so quickly. Gets flung away to the other side. But Swarly with the roll ride, trying to get the kill with the boop. Doesn't really get it. In the meantime, the two Lucius just dancing around the same the same position of the payload. Literally on the same music trap here. But now bringing a little taste of Japan there. On to the diva, Kalamikasa finally getting the capture of the point. I like what the red team is doing here, trying to control as much as possible the, their flanks. They try to they try to control the Genji, the, the blue team's Genji, stopping him from gaining as much as much kills as much kills as he can with the with the with the Makri and the Chaser, with the Makri and the Chaser with high mobility and a good stun as well. But they still can't seem to get any values with their. Huh? Diva bombs that yeah, they've been throwing. It is what it is. Sometimes a diva bomb doesn't really net you kills, especially when you use that as desperation. Speaking of, however, two supports falling down into the pod. The Alex Seed and Swarly both falling there. Practice though, and a lot of the rest. Chiyaku being staggered gets taken down. But oh, Cyrace taking advantage gets the stick on the practice. Very, very opportunistic there from the Tracer. Forced to recall it out, almost falling honestly into the pod. Now Funchek goes for the dive, gets rid of the Tracer, the control of the blue team now, 85% and counting, can they keep this up and take the win on Gardens, the red team has the dead eye, has the prior rage, here comes the Winston of Funchek, he's really low, Marky is there to go for the save play, but the dead eye now gonna go lock on, doesn't get any kills thanks to the barriers from the point itself, but two kills going the way of the attack, Kovales is there, just whittling down the defenses of the blue squad, Flashbang is there, gets rid of Calamities, Alexi getting the res on out on the fun trick, but 52% is pretty far away for a prime rage if the red squad can get the proper focus. Tyreza even going for the Sombra, gets the half on in and focusing fire on Funchik. Funchik now close to the Primal Rage, he can clutch this out for his team if he can make it. But Tyreza once again with the half, that was a terrible mistake there for Funchik. Chasing after the Sombra over anyone else. Calamitas, a Blade and a Dream will lead to a kill. Sees a nuke in his face, gets taken down by the Shock instead. The Red Squad now in control of the point, practice makes perfect but now he can't make it to the point. <laughs> Wow, that was an intense fight. Now, both teams have done whatever they can, but the only difference, the only difference that that made was the key was key target priority prioritization. Mm -hmm. Whereas the whereas uh, the red team was able to take down their key targets, which was the, which was the Genji and the Mercy, and they were also able to push down uh, push down the the, Lu the Lucio as much as much as they could. Which, which was the key? Which was the key? Which was their the, the winning condition for the red team? Yeah. They, but but for the blue team, they seem they seem to have been struggling trying to take out trying to take out the mercy and the the mercy and also the Macri. Redux is Macri on that one. Uh, just Hopefully, you guys adjust the whole thing. Okay. Oh, yeah, solid, solid as is there. Let me just read this. If you want to play sometime, I want to start streaming friends to grow and connect with me, just let me know. Cool, dude. Uh, I actually suggest most of the players here are streamers as well as my co-caster, uh, drop stats as Monster Potato. Because I mostly do casting over playing. I don't play too much on stream, but yeah, sure. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you for the heads up, Dustin. Cool, you also have a verification. But anyway, let's talk back into the game. J22 going in for the dash on in with a charge. But gets Oh, it's Funchuk instead with the charge rather on to Redux. And honestly, being on the Reinhardt, not the best camera angle. Funchuk now with a takedown on the team. Coalescence comes on out from Alexeid. Because all the damage here being healed up by the Moira. Just giving them so, such a critical charge. <coughs> here we go. Speaking of target prioritization, they're actually doing it right now. They're trying to take out the, the Moira, which is a very good decision considering the Moira can actually get their ultimate really fast, especially in the first engages. 
Okay, her chatter is available now for Funja. He's gonna try to back on off. Shiaku pretty high energy and close to the Graviton Surge. Gets hacked up instead by Practice Cool. Well, this comes on out, Emon gonna go for the push, trying his best to just heal up his team. Redux is gonna be a target. Funja though launches into the air, doesn't get a good chatter. Now, thanks to the efforts from the Doofus, Calamitous though will capitalize on all the action. Gets through for the time being. Blue Squad now just taking control of the point pretty handily here until the three center. Valued Dragon Valued Blades coming in from Calamitous as we as expected, but that was a very good that was a very good uh that was a very good shield brought in by Marky right there just to keep everyone alive. Now we're gonna have to worry about the Graviton Surge. Yeah, be a rally, gotta be a grab and gotta be an EMP. So the blue team, look at how rampant this action is. It was funny that J2A2 was just twisting around his hammer as well. Graviton Surge now comes on out from Chiyaki in response. And that was a perfect counterplay there from the Zarya. The blue team expanding way too much in that offensive, even using the EMP. So they're gonna be able to get the capture of the point. So let me just... Let me just read the chat. I did played one quick play game with diamonds in the AT. My team did push in when I killed five of them. Welcome to quick play! Where people just pop around and it is what it is. People, people just don't really care too much, honestly. It's going cool. It's QP. No, everything goes in QP. Alexine! Oh no! He gets charged on up. He just finished the coalescence. But for now, the red team's time to stay on to this. Shatter comes on out. Funchik staying alive. But gets taken down by Sarasia. Calamus trying to turn things around with the blade. But Shiaki gets killed. J22 with a takedown as well. Shatter is available. Practice himself is the one who gets hacked up by Sarasia. And the red team still in control of this point. I'm gonna just add you. It was a good drive for that blade though. The, 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 the practice and Calamitous working together on that one as as Calamitous was blading. Okay. Practice was also trying to hack the Reinhardt. He was able to, but then it was just a two of them on the point they couldn't they couldn't sustain. And now two opens already here for the red team. And Shatter there from J22 as Fontrick was going for the fire strike. Perfect timing from the Reinhardt. If you have fast hands and you see the fire strike animation coming in. That's one of the best ways to counterplay your Reinhardt, honestly. Not just as an opposing Reinhardt, but as a sniper as well. When you see the Fire Strike animation, you have that small window to get a headshot or two. And at the top levels of gameplay, you can actually do that pretty consistently. Mm -hmm. A couple of frames, a couple of frames, the shield is down, that you can actually drop, drop an Earth Shatter in there. Usually flips the whole game. Oh, I've yeah. seen it a couple of times in Overwatch League, and my god, it's the most beautiful thing to actually witness. EMP now comes on out, Redux still with the takedown on to one, trying to stay alive here against the Genji, but Calamus will be able to cut him down to sides. Blue Squad going for the offensive, but there's a Graviton Surge! Shiyaki sucking everyone in, and the red team taking control of the point. The Blue Squad has to concede this. Unexpected. Ooh. Victory! The red team, Redux style of wins. Redux style of wins. Apparently, hindi toto ang pangalan. Hindi toto. Hindi nagkatoto ang Redux style. Of. Well, he did lose the giveaway, what? so that's why. Why is it always the POTG, the one that loses the game? Uh, why? That's a, that's a good question. Look at this! Ah. Always make a play, dude. That's the point. Always make a play. Wait, no. yes. After that, a lot, yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah, well, but considering it, how good our current, I've seen how good our, our players are and our teams are, especially on the wildfire where they played like they just played their off, off role. Yeah, their off roles. I'm, I'm, pre I'm pretty confident how far how far the Filipinos will go on that one. Uh, I'm glad I got to see a light at the end of the tunnel for you, man. But anyway, let's talk about the games instead. This is why we have to continue anyway, to keep people practice up to try the best in these games, to try and get better in Overwatch in general, and now dodge this, just getting the better of the Reinhardt. J20 to force the back off. In the meantime, Chiyaki will be taking down all the tracker. Is the right team gonna go for a push on in, but Dodge is once again holding the corner. Finally, he falls, and Redux at the last moment gets the headshot there on to Reishi. Doesn't get it. it's a full charge body shot, rather. Nice. Now, the Winnermaker looking for a target or two. Kairu pretty close to the Dragon Blade, Ooh. gonna back on off. Zen with a takedown on to one, on to two. He's in yacht again in these kills, and J30 the charges on in. Kairu now with the Dragon Blade gets two more kills for the time being. I am ready. 
And it's gonna be the blue team oh, holding, geez. thanks to that blade from Cairo. Nano boost. Yeah, solid. That was a really quick nano boost and solid, but then they, they, they I don't know what happened, but they couldn't, they, they couldn't get the, get the kills they wanted. <laughs> I was, I almost swallowed my wheat, meatball wrong, but J32 <laughs> went for the charge, almost got the kill there onto the Genji, oh. and now he goes rampant, gets a ra shatter, gets two, they go for another charge, and gets Zen. What the hell? The Reinhardt absolutely popping off. Let's just watch this again. Look, J22 taking down Kairu first and foremost. He got the shatter on out behind the building, then he got another set of kills for the Red Squad. And the Reinhardt just putting his team on his back, just charging on in like an absolute hero. Hollywood now gonna be moving on to the Westworld phase as the Red Squad gonna try and push the payload to the end. Here we go. Now, the, the, as per usual, does this is gonna be standing there dropping his shields again, going full bunker. But then, whoa, what happened to the Earth? What happened to the Graviton? The Graviton got cancelled. Did it get cancelled? Uh, the Graviton there, I believe, uh, actually didn't see. I didn't, I didn't, for some, one of the few times I actually didn't see what happened. But anyway, maybe it got whiffed thanks to the efforts from the whole hog just pushing the Zarya all the way to the back. Doesn't really too much. Or maybe the hook as well, I'm not really sure. But the Red Squad gonna go for the push on and Dodge is once again out in front. Maybe this Ares actually count in this fight. The hog comes on out and the combination oh. doesn't work. Swarly, unfortunately, gets hooked up still. And the Zenyatta falling through the hand of the Ro Roadhog. Sun Razor now trying to run away. And the Red Squad just has to uh, condense here at the back. Tracker once again playing ultra aggressively. Might get punished for this one, does it? Is able to stay alive. I like what they're doing here. They're gonna be using. They're gonna be using the. They're, they're using Oris's halt and at the same time the hook as well. It's a bit of a. It's a bit of a random roll, but I think it guarantees you one hook, one pick. Yeah, it's a pretty standard combination, guys. For for tank lines, there have been established combinations in terms of pairings. There's always the classic Ryan Zarya. Of course, there's the Winston Diva for dive, and then finally the newer one. Well, it's not really too new anymore. It's the Arisa Roadhog. Because the Hulk, as Drops on the saying, the Hulk and the Hulk, and the Hulk can couple up so so easily thanks to the efforts from the Arisa. But now the Red Squad gonna go for the push on and gets three picks. Dragon Blade comes on out from Kairo again. It's very questionable, gets taken down instead. Oh, that's Dodge just used just Dodge just used his damage the, his damage boost there, but then it's not gonna be enough because there's only two people on over there defending. I might as well, I might as well just held it. Yeah, honestly, very very smart. Uh, literally, really smart analysis there. Uh, what what to say? So supercharger is one of those ultimates you use at at the start of the fight, never at the end, because there's it's it. It's a, a kind of ultimate that makes it more powerful when you have more people. It's like a Valkyrie, honestly. So, Supercharger plus Valkyrie is one of a really strong combination in terms of damage boost. So, Razor are gonna go for the tactical visor, and Deku flying way too high into the sky. Gravity Surge into the red blue team's backline, gets rid of the Zen as he finishes Transcendence. So, Razor getting so many kills as well. So, for now, the red team taking control of the point. Kairu, last to fall, almost gets hit by the fire track. Happy birthday. So shout out to Natsukashi there. Happy birthday to him apparently says the uh, community. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> The Dragon Blade now comes on out. Kairu gets rid of one, gets rid of two. This guy has been absolutely clutch here for the blue squad. Able to turn fights around in their favor. Tracker with a takedown onto J22 as well. For now, though, the blue team is trying to. the patience on Kairu right there. Like, at, well, there was this one fight where he got stuck and was and just decided to climb up all the way the, to the roof of the jail uh -huh. and wait for his for the perfect moment to actually do that dragon strike. That's highly commended. Might as well just you know, might as well just take your losses and wait for another good chance. Considering your Genji's ultimate can actually flip fights like that. Well, 
it uh, it makes a difference if you actually use the blade alongside your team or you just go for the hero blade. Pyro making those hero blades pretty much count. The red squad though trying to go for the push in. Redux up on top, dueling with the Winston. In the meantime, Tracker onto the point gets a Valkyrie to assist, but Deku onto the floor gets taken down. No hero had the for him, man. And it's gonna be a tactical visor now. So Rage are getting to just literally moving around with the tap visor, not really aiming anymore. So Reza also gonna get rid of Zen in this one. Oh, the Zenyatta stays alive thanks to the efforts of Reishi and the Mercy almost giving away her position. Poor Reishi, look at how, look at where she is. So yeah, the Mercy now just trying to stay alive in this one. Pulse Bomb is available for Deku. Just waiting on for the opportunity to get a stick or two in this fight. Oh no. Kyra has the blade Did as well, but he's gonna get stuck in the middle of all that. He's gonna get taken down. Swarly has the Zenyatta <laughs> Transcendence available. Shahar gets the mech. Here comes the push on in. J22 really low. The Red Sea now with a takedown onto two, and they're gonna march on by for the time being. Three ultimates the Red right Team's looking well. really, very, very healthy here, and they have three ultimates as well. A Graviton Surge and an upcoming Earth Shatter with, with the Transcendence to actually counter whatever the Dragon Blade that uh, Kyra is gonna be throwing in. Blue team has to bait out the transcendence to actually want a good chance on this one or make good picks against the Zen, which they're actually doing right now. Cairo, Cairo honestly had a misplay there, just walked into the Zenyatta by mistake. And mm -hmm. luckily, he got the reflect on the fire grenade, but still didn't lead to any kills. Self Destruct now comes on out, gets the kill on to no one, but forcing Redux to hide behind the wall instead. And Kairu will capitalize on that as the aliens and the UFOs just swing past our camera. Just trying to be a little pesky, honestly, in terms of line of sight. So the red team stuck at the entrance way to the exit way rather of the studio and on the other hand we see Sarazor guide to go to the flam tracker is on it gets a sleep dart to its name and gets the mech by swarly the tracer and the bb diva try to have uh try to back on by it's gonna be a graviton to start things off from chiyaki dragon strike comes as well with the red squad gonna use this to push on in dodges gets taken down tap visor in, uh, in addition to the red team's push look at this zen and reishi getting booped on by by the charge Tracy brought along for the ride, and overtime has been taken, but the Red Squad able to finish this off. I was that close to getting worried by um, getting worried with Red Team not being able to push that last part. That last part because they got stopped like two times in a row. Yeah. Honestly, <clears throat> especially that part of the map was highly favored by the defense. It's closer to their it's closer to their spawns, and they also have the high ground advantage as well with the top with the top uh, with the second floor. Easily accessible for them. Oh, it is it is what it is. That's that was what happens when you actually get caught on by a flurry of ultimates. It was interesting. Chiaki using the grab here. Dragon Strike going into the center and honestly does this with just <laughs> casually walking out of spot and he's like, Oh, I'm dead. Okay, cool. And then a tactical <laughs> visor came out from Cyrasia as well. So for now, gonna be the blue team on the attack. My Sally Poba we go up. Why not dodge this fan club? Ako, admin. Me, me, me. Everyone, dodge this fan club. Admin, please dodge this fan club. Basta may pamilya yung dodge this account. Yes. I want a dodge this account. Dodge face reveal. Already already face revealed on Facebook, by the way. If you guys know his Facebook account. He actually finds the Kalam do him chairman. Kago tagal na chairman talaga, hindi talaga tata yu yan. But anyway, gan talaga. Hope you guys are staying safe. It is raining outside. So hopefully you guys are at home. Hopefully you guys are somewhere that is covered. And yeah, I'm glad the typhoon has more or less passed Five, us. Four, Stay safe, guys. Three, and two, mga people there hoping for suspensions, one, umasa na lang kayo. <laughs> but for now, the blue team gonna go for a Wrecking Ball and a Winston combination. On the other hand, we have a Ryan Zarya Death Ball com combination here for the Red Squad. Kairu able to take down J22. Gonna go for the punch, gets rid of Sarazia as well. Half on the Redux, making the Hans of his pre mobile self. This is gonna be the blue team already taking the point at this rate. I like the red team's idea going for the Death Ball, but then it was a mistake for having J22 over there, for having the J22's Reinhardt over there. You can't have a Death Ball without the ball part. 
Yeah. <laughs> no. Go squad though, gang. To capture on to the point. I'm gonna push on in and drop shot. What can the red team do to stop this one? Which one? The oh, easy. They go for something that can take out the the two diving tanks like quick, uh, really quick. A reaper, a bastion would be good as well if they can actually protect the bastion. But as much as possible, stop the dives, stop the CC coming in with the double, the the two tanks crashing in their backline. If they can find something that can defend their healers, or if they can find something that can take out the two tanks really easily. That's pretty much what they can do here. But for now, with the composition, one thing they can do is just focus fire on this Doomfist who's been going ham, slams in, gets a punch, gets a, a Peter Strike as well on 2 2. Perfect combination there from Kairu as he just gets rid of the Zarya as well. Just watch this. You don't play from Kairu. Perfect. Size exam even flips Swarly into the air, and as Cyrazer and Evan Lad, he gets a kill on to two. So far, so good here for the blue attack. Well, I guess we sw we swap everything. We swap everything that the red team can do here. If they can't stop Kyra as well, they might as well go for someone that can CC the uh, CC the Doomfist. A Winston would be a good. A, a Win. Um, I mean, a McCree would be a good one to, to stop to stop him. Just flash back him as he's going down for his rollouts. Or you can get you can get an Ana as well that can drop sleep darts and at the same time nano boost your teammate, nano boost your your other DPS as well. To save them. Yeah, the red team now gonna go for the push. That clash happening there. Coalescence came out. EMP comes out from the red team, allowing them to defend properly. And honestly, moving on to a Sombra is a very good pick against a Doomfist. The mo if the Sombra itself doesn't get CC. On the other hand, here comes Tracker in the middle, gonna try to roll on out. Neku gets caught out, gets taken down. Kyra now under a lot of damage. Gonna go in onto the two tanks and out of nowhere gets the mid back. Takes advantage of the chaos of the situation. A Doomfist now topped up, wants to go for a few more kills. Gets a Hanzo arrow in the face instead. Enemies on my radar. Sombra here would be good if she if she would be able to get her EMP real quick because it stops all the stops all the cooldowns stops all the cooldowns that the blue team needs to engage, which is the Winston jump, which is the Winston jump in, and at the same time the the pile driver from the wrecking ball and also the Doom Fist, also from the Doom Fist, but. At the moment, if they can't protect Sombra right here, it's gonna be pretty much GG. Rally now for them. Swarly. And for now, the blue team does have three minutes in this fight. If Kairu can get a pick or two once again, because he has been the momentum for the blue team, they can actually push on in. Tracker gets a trade on to one before he gets taken out by Sunraiser. And honestly, running both a Doofus and a Rector Ball against the Sombra is kind of a hassle in your part. One for one trade once again, Chiyaki getting a sub shock into the backline, allowing her Rayshi to go for the res. EP's now come out from both Sombras, but it's not really gonna disable much. Transcendence here from Zen going for the push in perfect counterplay from the Zenyatta, Swarly there getting halfed up, can't put up the shield, can't go for the bash, instead go try to cage and dodge this in the jail, but he's angry about that, pops the primal rage, wants to be the president of owns his own fan club, and he gets a kill on to Swarly, the blue team now diving on into the backline, needs a strike, and good play there from dodge this, hopping into the backline, to try and put Redux to the center. Does so Kairo getting the slam with the meter strike. A 300 damage is the name of that. Of that. And that's gonna be the blue team now with the second point. I got it. I got it. The red team might right as well now. just swap it around. They might as well swap it around. They can't stop. They can't stop Kairo's Doomfist right here. They might as well find something else. They're not getting that much value off of their Sombra and their uh, Hanzo. Their Hanzo is getting picked, but not enough. It's not enough to actually go through the two, the two tanks that are dashing into them. Yeah. Actually, one tank now. EMP now is available here for Deku. J22 gonna hop up on top. Dodge is on the other hand. Taking a lot of damage. Gets taken down by Redux. <laughs> Dragon Strike is available here for the red squad and they're gonna go for the push on in Zen and Kairu with a set of takes interesting two from attack here from the attack self so comes on out gets absolutely nothing besides the UFO Earth the Mat where are you? 
platform arrows are available here for Redux. Can just easily prime them onto the Mercy. As Dodge is now with a takedown on the Swarly. Double kill here for the Winston. Using his mobility to just bully the Hanzo to death. The blue squad gonna go for the push. Deku gonna also pop the EMP in that fight. Perfect opening made by Deku. Dragon Strike now comes in through to the center. Will lead to any kill. So far, it does amounts to absolutely nothing. And Redux will switch instead. Dodge trying to get as much space as he can going in for the back line right here. He has his primal rage ready and he is popping it right now, trying to get <laughs> trying to juggle out the Brigitte. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad for the Brigitte right now. The Zen low comes on out. Can Zen keep this up? Coalesces there from the Moira of Emon. But doesn't really need too much kills. Just allowing the red team to keep the contest alive. The red team with three. And yeah, it's gonna be a pretty successful hold for them at the last minute. Hello there. Uh, I like to swap they I like to swap to a Reaper right here. They pretty much, they they ran out of choices. Everything else wasn't working. They swapped to a they swapped to a uh, Junkrat as well a while ago, but it wasn't enough considering that they had the they also had a uh -huh. Sorry about that. Song, bro. That's okay. Yeah. yeah, ready now with a takedown on to four. Gonna go for the push. A minute ten remaining for the blue team. And honestly, the red squad in their defense absolutely solid so far. We do see a switch. Well, the tracker now gonna go on the Widowmaker dodges on the Reinhardt as well. And basically, they're going for a little more damage compared to having that extra utility. Dodge is gonna be leading the charge, and that's gonna be pretty much it. A lot of damage gonna go the way of the Red Squad. How will they counter this out as Deku gets the EMP on out? The Valkyrie there from Reishi as well to allow the Red Blue team to push on in. But honestly, no kills going the way of the Blue Squad besides the one on the Swarly. Redux even picking off Tracker in the fight, and the Red Squad is in a pretty good spot. Primal Rage is gonna be popped. Coalescence comes out from Emma as well to keep the pressure on the Reaper of Kyrie going for the flat one. He gets a headshot to his name instead, allowing the Death Blossom to be kept into the old vault instead. I'm out of here. I'm on fire. Oh, just no. getting half up. Almost gets taken down. Oh, it's Deku instead hacking Swarly. Swarly with the Brigitte. Gonna go for the push on in. Force the back off. Tracker now trying to get away from Shiaki. Five seconds remaining. Can the blue team make this count? Can he get back, back into the fight? Deku using the translocator to the back. Kairu swooping on in from the top row. But Mathman falls in this one. Shiaki with the shutdown. And he has the self destruct. But the Earth Shatter and the EMP forcing the self destruct onto the payload. Only gets one. Redux getting the perfect side light on the Tracker gives him a headshot. Reishi as well gets brain. Cyrezo with his own death bottom. Dodge is the only one left. And the red team defending that for so long. Win it out 3-2. Victory. Whew. As I said a while ago, a proper, a proper swap at a certain situation. If it's not working, swap it out. That's the only thing you can do. It doesn't matter if you have the ultimate. If, it doesn't matter if, if you have the ultimate now. If it's just not working, swap it out. It will pay off eventually. And... Kudos there to <laughs> Kairu though with the amazing Doom Fist play and getting to play of the game. This is the one we showed you guys. A uh, solid, solid combination. Basic crowd. Savinipop. This is the Paul Village, the the granddaddy of the GOATS combination. And honestly, back in the day, the Paul Village was known for the 4 tank 2 support combination besides the Farah. And now uh, Team RIP gonna be running uh, pretty much a full GOATS in this one. But interesting enough, on Team Inspired, they're gonna have only oh, one tank. One tank. And, and interesting enough, it's an off tank. It's gonna be a Zarya as their solo tank. Very, very dangerous on in this one. Flamis though and Billy gonna be on the signature Genji and Tracer. Gonna try their best to flank their way to victory. Redux with a pickoff on to Kanakura already. He gets the mech, however. And here comes Kalam, inspired like always. Power Prince with the right click. Billy though gets taken down. He gets a post bomb, but good save from Shiaki with the bubble. So the Red Squad net now keeping control of the point for the time being. Power Prince in the back line using the teleporters very, very sneakily. So for now, the blue team gonna be in control. I mean, the blue team trying to get in control of the point. 
The Tracer up on top onto the second floor, gonna hop into the back line. But Chiyaki just gets the hop away to the relative victory. J22 goes for the charge, gets rid of one. But it's gonna be Valkyrie now from Vigilance to keep the blue team topped on up. They can go for the push on in. Kalam is though really low. Gets healed up by the Mercy. Has switched to the Farah. Coalesce is there from Kanakura as well to allow the blue team a streamlined push on, on in response. M and has it as well. Potem Byra though is not gonna get blocked up by the Kalam lessons and the grab comes out from Chiaki after the blue team's grab it's on surge red team now swoops on by using the strength of the goats to take the victory in this clash the blue team's gonna have a hard time going up against the goats comp if they're gonna be running this just one tank if they are gonna be running this this the same comp all throughout they might as well get the creative on getting on the point probably find a way to split the red team up split the split the goats don't don't let them stand on what and just that part of the map. But that's how that's the that's that's the goat's win condition. Just stand there, left click, and just do damage is pretty much it. No garage though coming out to Kalamans a little late in that fight. Ashiyah already high energy and has so, made so much damage here, getting so many eliminations in that one. The fire are more or less powerless to stop this as Billy's still playing the tracer. Not really gonna work out, however, in the face of goats. Way too much healing. Even the one clip won't save you. And Chiyaki, high energy, just taking down the tracer so, so easily. Papa Prince has switched to the Doomfish, but it's way too late. He even gets shattered there by 22. Late. And red team 100 to 0 on red team. Honestly, the blue team not living up to expectations. I think the blue team got a bit confused on what they wanted to do. Like, they had something in mind, but then, you know, as soon as the girls showed up, they were like, huh, yeah. what? What? <laughs> what, what now? Well, yeah. I, it's more of like, they're a little too stubborn. Because the blue team are a little confident in terms of the mechanical skill. And they, they line up, they're like, no, we can, we can make this work. And no, that's not gonna work anymore. What's this way too strong? Uh, stop there, Missy Girl. And that's why it's called the ghost. But it's, it's actually... The thing is, people are trying to get rid of the term goats. Trying to make it 3 3. And I agree. 3 3 is a better call for it because it tells people what exactly it means. Yeah. And with the rise of Ana over Moira, it's not really the full goats comp anymore. Smarly though, getting the takedown off the Pablo Prince. And as Dodge just calls it out, look at what the blue team is running. Gonna have the Reinhardt here for Calabas. He's gonna go for the charge. Gets absolutely nothing, getting booped around. And honestly, the blue team doesn't want to contest this with a proper composition. They really wanna do the hard brute force method to try and beat the goats. Where the goats already stampeding their way to the point. So full card the 3 3 in control of the, of the map. If the actually if the blue team actually wants to keep this going, they might as well do something about the backline healers. There's three healers. There's they have three healers right there. Might as well split them up. Uh, split them up. Kill kill one or two. Low and uh, lower the healing, which is the main which is the main point of a goat comp. Also, if they really want to play this out, gonna go for the on uh, J22 getting the shatter out onto the stairs, and that's a team kill. Shout out to Nero. You want to spec? You want to join? But like, I think the lobby is full, and I'm not famous. Will most famous kapanga eh? The, where is the shatter? There you go. So just watch that shatter. Somehow it gets up on top, creeps up on top. The Lampus try to hold that barrier up, but doesn't really work out in their favor. In the meantime, Billy gonna go for the flank onto the right hand side. Can Billy get a thing or two? Can be a one as a from the side of Emon Swarly. Holding up the rally as well, just trying to bully Mikasa away. 56% and counting. Can the red team push on in? Yes, he can. Swarly with a takedown onto Mikasa. Calamitous was all alone with Baba Prince. Both of them get brought together right now. All the way, Graviton Surge comes out and takes down to 67% and counting here for the red team. And on the other hand, Vigilance is just uh, unlike the Observer. He's just like. Uh, I don't want to be part of that. I don't want to be part of that. This is going to be really, really rough. Yeah. Valkyrie now <laughs> is available. Oh, <laughs> Clam is going, going for the Shatter. He's going to drop on down. Swarly getting the stuns. And this is going to be very dangerous. The Reinhardt actually falls. Charge comes on out. Gets a hit onto the Transcendence Fielding Zenyata. Papa Prince now onto the floor. Soundfire being popped by Sarreza as well. 95% end counting here for the red team. An absolute clinic here and even leaves the game. Okay. Unfortunate. Let's just 
end it na. Let's end it now. Unfortunate. Just way too one sided. We still see a contest. Vigilance. Oh. <laughs> the self destruct. The self destruct there from the. From. From the diva. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is a. I guess it came down to how. It's called. You know, no, this no, okay. This, this, one, this is called team chemistry. Sometimes mm -hmm. things just don't work out, and you know, it is what it is. True, true. But whoo, goats though. Whoo, three, three, too strong. <laughs> on. And that's why goats is really strong on. Hopefully, you haven't played it, but gonna have Fudge on the Ryan and the matchup on the Mercy tomorrow on the Farah, Natsukashi on the Doomfist, Deku on the Zarya, and Zen on the Zenyata. On the Zen? Yeah, Zen on the Zen. So Reza on the other Gabriel Lucio, we have a Hanzo and a Shimad, then a Genji 4, Swarly and Redux, the Shimadas, J22 on the Ryan, Shiaki on the Zarya, and Emon on the Moira. So interesting enough, thing will be Simora taking control of the skies with that Farah, and she already gets a kill on the Swarly. Emon really low as well. So the blue team under uh, a lot of pressure from the tanks, but their DPS are decimating the back lines of the red team. Oh, Kimura gets taken down real quick on that one. It took a couple of kills, but then gets re taken down real fast as well. So the red team right now, now the red team gets a free cap. cap. Yeah, there's gonna be no contest here from the blue squad. They're way too far to actually go on in, and now Deku just tossing out a few raggings here and there. Fire Strike comes on now, J22 with the takedown. Here's the charge, doesn't get much. Natsukashi in the back line, cannot to stay alive in this one. Not gonna work out in their favor. Attacker now comes on out, J22 gets a punch instead to the face, Yaki with the tail onto 2. He's trying to whittle out at the matchup, but interesting enough, the blue squad's offensive consists of trying to protect Timor as much as they can, even committing the bubble onto the Fara. The blue squad though is still far away from the point, not getting the engagement that they need to go for the control of the lighthouse. They do have the Graviton here and the Coalescence for the red squad, so a lot to contend with on the oncoming attack. Dog Barrage is available, so Timora gonna swoop on into the backline, makes it go on to Emon, but Swarly just holding his round like a steadfast archer, gets the kill there onto Timora, Dragon Strike is available, there's the grab transcendence in response from Zen, but honestly way too much damage going the way of the red squad onto the blue, Zen the lonely stone survivor, and this is gonna be a reset here for the blue team. Full reset's gonna happen for the blue team right here, they might as well find a different way of getting in. They've been get, they've been caught two times at almost three times now, on the same spot. Probably find a way to get to the point or find a different place of engagement because they're getting spammed by the Hanzo over there Does and the Gravitor. Yeah, so then they're switching well. over to the Brigitte and the Hero Fudrick and then the Magic Betty with three ultimates. The Valkyrie can be popped in just a bit and here comes the Chain Healing. Graviton Surge is there as well. Tukas going away and J22 once again just twisting around that fire trying to protect as much as he can but honestly this time it doesn't work out in their favor. He gets spelled. Chiyaki onto the point trying to force out the 99. Tomorrow will give him a rocket as a present. And now the blue team finally getting the flip, but can they actually keep this up? Redux has switched to the McCree to try and deal with the pharmacy. <clears throat> you okay? Blue team's gonna have gonna have a oh bit God. of a problem. Uh, they're gonna have a bit of a problem because they they've actually committed a lot of their ultimates on that last one, and it will take a, quite a bit of time for them to gain another one. For the red team, they have another dragon strike coming in with the ninety five percent. And whoa, okay, there it goes. There goes the there goes the beat being dropped and the oh, earth huge. being shattered. That was huge. Really oh. good setup there from J22 and Sereza species in gets the earth shatter. Rock Raj there from tomorrow gets a ping pong ball of a biotic arm to take him down. Emon really good geometry there into the funnel. And now the red team take the first win here on Elios. Sorry, I was spacing out. <laughs> I'm spacing out again, my bad. It's okay, man. I think you, you might be tired. Be... <laughs> it's all good. Nah, it's all good. Uh, 
Oh, it's all good. You should, you should take a break on the last one. You should actually just play, and of course, our last map will be Horizon Lunar Colony as is tradition. It is what it is. Pasali ako scrims. You should. It's down below. The the ballot tag. You just, you just if it's friends only. So the point is, you can just join anytime by pressing right click on my 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 account. That's how it works. It's, it's very very easy to join to join the lobby in the first place. But uh, yeah, so you should you should join the last one if you want. Atsukashi though versus Warly gonna be a Widow V Widow. On the other hand, Deku gonna be on to this Diva. Everyone's gonna pop up into the middle. Gonna be on the Ana. Get sniped up, however, by Natsukashi. Mr. Birthday Boy himself getting a treat of a tank in his face. Redux on the other hand getting rid of the Granny for the blue team. And look at this. Redux uncontested gets three in the back line. The red team gonna get the capture thanks to the efforts of the cowboy. I'm just showing them what it's like, what's what's the proper way to actually flank and get value out of it. Get takes out one of one healer and the sniper as well, which is really, which is a very good decision. Now Natsukashi trying to get up to high ground again, but there goes another tank. Here comes Winston. Yeah, so Natsukashi, Natsukashi and J20 doing the little tango. In the meantime, Swarly taking advantage, trying to go for the smooth silk shot there to take down Natsukashi. Doesn't get the headshot, tags the corner of the shoulder of the Widowmaker instead. Shiyaki though will take down onto Pontrix Pontrix. Swarly also takes down Zen. Uh, the matchup trying to hop on away. Sleep Dart connects, and here comes Tamora. She's going to get rid of Shiyaki, but this Diva has been very, very potent in this fight. Take 20 now, getting Nana boosted up. The Red Squad trying to take control of this. Tamora really low. Can the Reaper stay alive in this one? Looks like Tamora will, will still survive. But for now, the blue team struggling to even get past the first Pantheon. <laughs> Armor Rage is available. It's gonna be a dead boss. I'm now here for tomorrow. Being held. Just wants to get rid of the mech so the defense mage chase won't be a problem in the oncoming future. Then we will take down all the one. Self-destruct is available. Speaking of self-destruct, there's gonna be one all the point. Chiaki, Emon, and Redux using it for cover. And then and Zen rather a little too late to try and go for the shield bash to cancel the remake. But Blue Squad now trying to get on to the point. Self-destruct is available. Chiaki has to hop on away, but he gets the mech. Redux has the dead eye. He gets knocked down by five. Patrick with the Primal Rage, good play here from the Winston, and finally the blue team trying to go for the capture on the point. Funtrick playing that, playing that so well, trying to focus on that high noon, trying to trying to block as block the line of sight as much as he can. Considering he had 1k HP on his Winston, now the blue team now has three ultimates with the, with the self destruct and a death blossom and a nano boost as well. They can play it out. They can actually get a bit be a bit laid back, but they need to take out this Winston that's in their backline. Nano boost now comes out there and self destruct in the middle. Chiaki with a takedown on to one one for one trade so. Far. Tamora in the back line will allow her to go for the Death Blossom at an opportune moment, but he gets sniped up and Swarly and Redux focus fire onto the Reaper. Good play there from the two hit scan. Red Squad now using the Widowmaker to get to the point and capture it. 90% right now for the Red Team and just one more secure of the fight will net them the win. Zen trying to get onto the point gets executed by Swarly instead from the head. And now the Red Team in control. We do see a contest here from Pontrick onto the point. Tomorrow on the other hand still holding the Death Blossom but way too late to get there. The Red Team takes Ilios. <laughs> no! So close. Yeah, it's so close try. yet so far. Good try there from the blue team, but the red squad just proving a little more superior in that fight. Mm -hmm. Redox's McCree is spot on. Like, look at this—he just went from—he just went all the way from the middle and went down to the yeah. side, taking out the Winston, e e the, easy, the Zen in. Easy clap. The window. Easy clap. Then though, interesting enough, it's gonna be on the Hanzo. That's a that's a little rare from Emon, but I I enjoy it anyway. The red team now gonna go for a push on in. They're gonna flank onto the left hand side, and Redux gonna go up on top. So the Widowmaker gonna look for an opportunity or two to strike. In the meantime, Calamus in the back line gets a hack already on the drop shot, getting rid of the Moira. Vigilance gonna commit the resurrect there 
on to his fellow I'm support and the red team will take advantage with a pick on to closure in the meantime calamitas trying to cause some chaos alongside patrick redux really low gets taken down here's the hack again but the fade is gonna be there to cancel it out vigilance and drop shot also playing a buddy system right now and patrick on the other hand being a rampaging winston trying to hop on by but for now the red team going on to the right hand side drop shot gets taken down once again and interesting enough calamitas has been focusing on to that player most of this game gonna translocate on that however as Yaki is charging up his graviton surge 16 percent and a dream so he should have it within the next 20 seconds of the fight if he actually doesn't get taken down Patrick though into the back line gets way too late to get the primal rage in that fight Deku gonna fly off into the distance as well Redux and Vigilance so ready with two ultimates and Vigilance getting an uncontested resurrect once again honestly with the picks here from the blue team I would be so, I'm a little surprised they didn't actually do anything counters huge EMP into self-destruct there from Deku and Calamitous 2.30 in the time back now and let's just watch that one again between Calamitous and Deku so interesting enough what happened was after the resurrect here so Deku had his self-destruct available and he tossed it out to go to stop there it got pushed back however by uh by the Reinhardt but the EP is putting a stop to absolutely everything and that was the engagement solid solid effort from the Sombra and the D.Va Mora Natsukashi and Funtrick ready with through ultimates the Deadeye is available in the meantime Funtrick up on top has the Primal Rage available drop shot to Nemendo ready with two ultimates Shiaki getting the grab up as well and here comes Redux right now pushing on in getting the Graviton actually leads to some wins here for the squad of Red Graviton search up comes out Sambire in response Reed Natsukashi with the takedown on to the Orisa and when Dragon Strike though gets rid of Calamitas but in the line of sight of the blue squad they're gonna get a few more kills going the way Natsukashi with a takedown as well on the Redux and that's gonna be a team kill So far, so good right now for the blue team. Birthday boy popping off, showing his stuff. Solid work here from Natsukashi. Can he keep this up, however, as Horizon Lunar Quality might be a full hold to end things off in a high note here for the blue team. The Dead Eye now is available here for Redux. Funchek has the Prime Rage and he might be the hero of the story. If he can block the oncoming Makri ultimate, he uses the bubble instead onto the right hand side. Calamitous gets a flashback to the feet and gets taken down. Two for one trade so far. Closure though really low. Redux once again getting another kill. But this time it's the Diva out in front. Self-Destruct is available tomorrow, bringing back everyone together. Nano Boost is available as well. So it might be a fight of Dead Eyes. This might be the clash of the Western world. But Redux is able to get rid of Natsukashi before anything happens. Sadly, we will not see the duel on High Street in this one. 20 seconds remaining. Can that could get the huge self-destruct? Nano Boost instead on to Funchik as he's primal raging in the perfect sleep card there from Vigilance. Goes for the Pushy Bags as well. 10 seconds remaining and the red team gets the first thing for the time being. Self-destruct gonna come into the center and it gets absolutely nothing but the positioning there for the blue team. Allows him to get two kills on the side of the red. Tactical Visor is out but Evan doesn't get any kills. Natsukashi dead as well. Picks off Kanakura once again. The Orisa getting the Destabilized, and now this is the last chance here for the red squad. No, not Sakashi with the takedown and the blue team with a full hold. This might be a quick one here on Horizon. Score zero to zero. Switching sides. Last game, sorry, Rain V. We're, we're, we're done for the day. We are. This is the last one for the day. Because uh, we still have open division to do. Thank you though for your interest. And thank you for joining a while ago. It was an absolute pleasure to have you. But anyway, the blue squad. Just <laughs> perfect defense from them. Nothing much to say. Nothing much to complain about. Solid work coming out from the blue team. On the other hand, the red team will have to try and figure out their defense. If they can actually hold the blue team in more than one push, that'll be Only a win in their foot already. So for now, Hello. 
the blue squad gonna be running a interesting lineup. Gonna have the Symmetra, but I'm not sure if they're actually gonna run it. On the other hand, the red team gonna have the Brigitte Reaper combination alongside the Moira. So this tells me that the red team is gonna defend on to the point, try and keep keep themselves uh, anchored in and stay alive as much as they can. 30 seconds remaining. This might be the last hurrah here for the red squad. Can they keep this up? That is gonna be the real question. Hello there. Oof. Oof. And Vigilance just crouching around using the proper Ryan skin. I'm not sure if that has been fixed already, but we do see a Sombra now here for Calamitous. The real question is will it actually lead to any kills in the future? Attackers incoming. Defend objective A. Yonda, be right back. Calamus putting the translocator onto the left hand side. On the other hand, Chiaf tossing a few right clicks as well. Fire grenade comes on out. And here's the turret from Deku. Lands into the middle of the point. Gonna be very, very distracting, honestly, for the side of the defense. He can use the teleporter as well to get up on top. It's gonna be interesting to know how the Symmetra will play this. So far, so good. And now here comes the teleport into the right hand side. Redux, though, with a pickoff onto Natsukashi. Blowing out the candles before the birthday boy even gets onto the point. It's a stun now onto Punchik. The Winston getting rid of the Makri is a perfect pick, especially a one of. Redux Caliber charge now coming in vigilance in the armor pack as well and he's gonna try to take down the Symmetra but perfect perfect move there from closure putting the sound wave moving vigilance all the way to the other side but Reinhardt gonna rotate into the left hand flank gonna go for the charge as well not gonna lead to any kills no one dumb enough to actually fall for that one Natsukashi though, Rufus is out and about trying to get a pick or two. Edmund charges on in the Reaper with the takedown all to one. Make that two. Closure gets a face full of lead. And the red squad holding on so far. This might be a very, very close defense here from both squads. But on the other hand, if the red team actually hold them to less than a tick, the blue squad will lose because it's 43%. So no chance of a tie here. Two picks now going the way of the blue squad. Chiyaki and Rida are very, very vital picks for the side of the blue team. Kanakura getting hacked up and will get taken down. No, not yet. EMP instead for some style points there from Calamitous. The whole essence won't be a factor. Emma getting hacked up one more time, not even allowing him to go for the Death Blossom. And that's gonna be game over, I believe. No one can get back into the fight. Redux gonna get a sniper from Deku. And that just puts a nail in the coffin there. That's gonna be our last game in terms of community scare. Woo! Jackpot! Thanks for the games, everyone. Thanks, Dax. It's your boss, Zen. I know it's you, Zen. Thank you for the bits again. You have been such a bits god. Thank you. GG, thank you, guys. Nerf this! Triple kill. Ah, Tuesday, Ule. Tuesday, Ule.